All right. Hey guys in the Twitch chat, thank you for waiting uh, and welcome to Yay. Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 5. <laughs> dun, um, dun, dun. No time left. Uh, today I'm joined by Dave and Melissa, the voices of Lee and Clem. Welcome, guys. Uh, Clementine. Where's Clementine? I'm here. <laughs> Oh What's my God. going on, man? <laughs> yeah, I know. Just, it's just crazy, people. But it's hard. Crazy. Yeah. Um, hi, Dave. Caleb, first, it's so amazing to meet you. Oh, thank, thank you so you. much for doing this. Uh, and uh, Dave? Caleb, it is such hi. a pleasure. Thank you. I am so pleased to oh, be invited to join you. Oh, there, there I thank can see you. it. There it is. Okay. And uh, everyone's very yeah, excited. Oh, no, I... <laughs> well, fantastic, fantastic! It's so yeah. good to have y'all here, especially for such a great cause for uh, JDRF. Um, absolutely, absolutely glad to yeah. be here. Glad oh. to participate. <laughs> As you... am I. Yeah. Sorry, if, Dave, did it go dark in your room? Was it like that the whole time? Oh, you know, I, I, I turned uh, the overhead lights out. Oh, and, okay. Okay. So, hey, so now it's works. just me and my... I was like, man. <laughs> me and my very sexy office. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, uh, don't want to get too much light on there. Get one of those right. ring lights? Uh, no, I got a couple of little <laughs> other lights, and uh, oh, yeah. you know, they're kind of yeah. hard to control. You know, I, I I think in the heat I sweated a little bit, so I hair and makeup. Can, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right, they're off today. I forgot. Ah, uh, yeah. Right. You gave them the day off. Months or so. <laughs> uh, Faded Gen sixty five also messaged me on Twitter asking to tell y'all that they love you and appreciate the hard work, but they're saying oh, that in the chat oh, right now. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, let's yeah. see. Let's see. I know. I'm trying to look at my. I gotta get my iPad up by my computer somehow. It's like this is technology multitasking, and it is not my strong suit. But I'm gonna make it work. <laughs> well, I, 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 I might be just a tad more uh, technically savvy than you, but yeah, for sure. Just 100%. a tad. Just a tad. I've seen your your recording studio. I mean, per, not personally. That's the weird thing. Tell Mo I'm coming over. But okay. Then I'm okay. To come here. Anyways, okay. whatever. She left. <laughs> <laughs> She's gone to her mother's house. Oh. Oh, cool. Okay. And to answer your question, oh. JDRF, that is a Tom Selleck pillow. Oh. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to know what you do with that pillow. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well. Um, that, yeah, uh, no comment, um, but I do have lots of comments. Yes, this was a gift. I have a, uh, weird, it's not weird. It's actually quite normal and, oh. uh, an awesome obsession with the That's show Magnum P.I. I love Magnum P.I. I love that do show. You like, do you like the reboot? I, uh, sorry, I'm going to put the pillow back. Just do you like the reboot of Magnum? They got a new Magnum. I haven't seen it. Okay. Yeah. I, it's it's like I can't go back and you know, I mean I it's, like that it's show not, too. It's not Tom Selleck. I, whatever. Oh, wait, I, I, oh, oh, I got something. I'm looking. I'm looking at one of the uh, uh, stream comments. Uh, uh, Dusty burrito, which does not sound tasty at all. Uh, <laughs> Needle lost on that. She said, "Woo! I was ten when I first played this. I'm sixteen now. Time really flies. I love you guys." She's trying to make us feel old. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, I saw a thing the other day that said Macaulay Culkin is 40. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Macaulay Culkin tweeted it out saying, do you do you guys feel old yet? <laughs> it's like, yeah. 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 I, I wanted to give him the finger or, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever yeah. equivalent. Yeah. <laughs> oh, somebody says my beard is magnificent. Why, thank you. Well, it is. Yes. <laughs> you look amazing. Yeah, you've gotten a couple of comments. Uh, people also asking me if I'm Go, if I'm shooting for your beard one day, and I am, so. Uh. Well, it's going to take you some time to get the uh, color. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> time and wisdom. It, it's so good to have y'all here. Um, if y'all don't mind, I'm going to take a second and talk about uh, the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. That Go we're for raising it. money for. Yes. So, 
So this is for JDRF, the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. They're some of the leading researchers in finding a cure for type 1 diabetes. Uh, if you type in exclamation mark donate in the chat below, um, it pulls up a link. Thank you. Uh, and all the donations that are given there go directly to JDRF to help fight type 1 diabetes. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, JDRF has asked me to uh, share my connection, my story. So um, I don't have type 1 diabetes myself. Uh, however, my best friend Blake, um, who was obsessed with The Walking Dead, by the way, uh, he would have loved this game if he had ever had a console to play it on. But um, we were best friends for about 18 years uh, with, since I was in first grade and he was in kindergarten. And back in 2017, um, he fell into a diabetic coma because his insulin pump wasn't working properly. And um, he had had, insul he had uh, diabetes since he was about five or six or so. So he's had it pretty much all of his life. And um, he unfortunately was in the hospital for about a week when we had to pull the plug. Uh, there was just nothing we could do. He was basically brain dead by the time they found him um and it's a really sad i mean it's obviously it's like the saddest moment in my entire life but um he always uh what was really cool was he made a ton of friends because he was a camp counselor at the different um diabetic camps that he would be at and he would walk the jdrf um like charity walk every year and he did all these events so i started doing them for him after he passed and so i mostly have been doing the walks the last few years but now we have these game to give charity events uh which of course is i much rather play video games than walk uh so um it's been a much you know it's it's been a very close cause to me we've almost raised five thousand dollars uh these last few weeks alone uh just from my team uh, overall jdrf raised over fifty thousand. so um it's been amazing to help um, and hopefully one day other people won't have to deal with the pain that so many of us have gone through. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my story. That's a, what a, an incredible way to honor your friend. I am, I'm sorry for his passing and I'm, I'm <laughs> humbled. I'm humbled yeah. by uh, your dedication and, and really, yeah, honoring your friend and being his friend after he's gone and that friendship helping so many other people uh you know we got a pandemic actually of diabetes in this country and have yeah. had for a long time uh I, my father passed from complications of diabetes wow. uh, so i feel you yeah well, I, I really appreciate y'all being here for such a great cause uh, we've already gotten three donations tonight um twenty dollars from gunter 17 twenty dollars twenty dollars from jake dickerson jake and a hundred dollars from t1 dad in memory of blake T1 dad hundred dollars t1 t1 i'm trying to read some of these comments here everybody and everybody joining in thank you so much you're all amazing it's always such an an honor to be in contact with the fans of this game. Oh, it's like, man. I'm not just a, the, the I, best. I can, actually, I can actually read some of these on my iPad. Uh, the yeah. Willow Wolf. I've I've lost count how many times I've played uh, The Walking Dead. Still cry every time. Thank you for the passion you put into the characters. Such a heartbreaking story. Thank you for the the kind words. Yeah. I. Uh... Um, of course, everyone's here to ask y'all's favorite actors some questions about being in the Walking Dead video game. Um, so if anyone has any questions, feel free to chat it in the chat below. Oh, uh, Dan is here. Um, Dan? Where's Dan? Dan Connors, down in the chat. Dan Connors! Hey. Oh, there you are. Oh, thank you, Dan. Yeah, thank, man. Thank you. Thank you for like uh, creating Telltale Games and creating this magic. So <laughs> it's not for you. Wonderful game. Yeah. yeah. So just overall, 
the most amazing experience of not only yeah. my voiceover career, but of my life at this point. So, well, like, you, you know, and, and people ask me all the time, oh gosh, how many games you've been in? Oh, it was like 400 something games. Well, who's your favorite character? It's, it's always Lee Everett, always Lee Everett. Lovely. And I can't imagine uh, what other character is, is gonna top that. I mean, it was such a wonderful, such great writing, such a great cast, such a great story, man. Just proud to have been a part of it, or I guess I still am. Yeah, you still are. Yeah, it's still happening. It keeps going. It keeps going. Um, the the first question that I that I've noticed at least uh, is from a Biodon two four one two asking if we can get a Clementine and Lee voice officially. So if y'all don't mind taking a turn, Clementine, Clem, you got to keep your hair cut short. Oh. Don't trust anybody. You can do it. Thanks, Lee. Because of you and, and all that you taught me, I was able to survive all the way to about 17 years old, I think. We don't have an official age on that, but um, I'm just going to shoot it up to Clem season four here. I could go through all the years, but... <laughs> right. Oh, my gosh. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah. It was one of the coolest things about uh, each season uh, was... Oh, now I just feel bad someone's going to call me out on this, but pretty much there was always a flashback, a dream, a something homage to the Lee and Clem uh, uniting. So Dave and I uh, uh, continued. I, now I'm like, I don't want to spoil this, but who hasn't actually seen the end of this episode? But I guess I won't officially you know, say. Gosh, it. everybody has seen it. I know, this. right? But I, uh, you know, I, I couldn't imagine somebody. I, but I haven't seen it. How come you didn't tell me? You didn't cool. tell me. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it was, it was always lovely to you know to get back into the booth. Or I mean, we never actually got to work together, unfortunately. But um, to to vocalize, and especially in the final season, uh, to uh, have that dream sequence with Lee and Clem on the train. I was crying Aww. when I, you recorded before me and when I came into the booth and Jack played your audio, I was just instantly like, <laughs> you know, I was a mess. You know what? I was a mess doing it. You know, I had expected to do the actor thing. Okay. I'm going to get into this. I'm going to feel bad. I'm going to, I'm going right. to sound terrible, but I, I did not expect real tears. I did not expect real crying. And somehow, as uh, I started saying the lines and, and whatnot, I mean, it just, uh, tears came out. Uh, so, and somebody was filming. Oh, that was season one. Yeah. That was season one. Yeah. That was season one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. The tears, the tears are legit, people. I mean, that's one of the cool ways of connecting with the, the fans of the game as well is, you know, when they, it's like, oh my God, I was like crying. And I'm like, yeah, so were we. We, we were like, crying too. <laughs> yeah. So thank you and sorry, shared experience. Well, if I made you cry, if we made you cry, our job was done. Yes. <laughs> I've had, um, I just want to say for question wise, I've seen at least two people ask if there will be a season five or DLC, but I imagine no. Uh, <laughs> Who knows? Uh, you know, there have to be a lot of hurdles to get over. Right. Yeah, I don't need that. Yeah, I don't. Is Unfortunately, that... I just there are no answers to that. Right. Skybound is still here. Telltale is not, unfortunately. Um. So, who knows? The future, you know, could change. <laughs> uh, M. Rudnick asked question. With what is going on in the world, what does it say that the game's main characters, Lee, Clem, AJ, were all people of color? I think that it's just uh, an amazingly made game, Telltale Games and the beautiful minds that worked there uh, were all just people who were present in the now in our current society. I mean, it is based off of the comics, technically, as well, and it's a very diverse... It's real life. It's yeah. real life. Yeah. <laughs> it's a reflection I, I, of real I, life. 
I think you had writers uh, uh, who just saw the world as it is now, saw America as it is now, and who who occupies America, America and it's everybody. When you look at the protests that are going on, it's everybody. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think they were ahead of the curve uh, on that. Um, but it, it reflects, you know, where it's just real what life. America is. Yeah, real life. Yeah, yeah. I think that's I think that's such a cool. Uh, JDRF pointed out one of the great things about The Walking Dead when it came out, it wasn't a game with a black protagonist. It was just natural, real life, you know, and that's so true. Um, well, the, the the it has uh, people of color in it uh, being able to play the the lead character, the playable character in season one. Um, huge feather in my cap but it wasn't because oh let's get a black guy to let's get a, a black lead here it was just a guy who had a particular story who happened to be black it wasn't about him being black or uh or racial issues it was about uh here's a guy in this situation zombie apocalypse happens uh he wants to redeem himself Ooh, there's a little girl she needs help i'm the one who can help her right and I gotta say, I, I mean, like like most fans, I'm obsessed with Lee and Clementine's dynamic. Uh, after, unfortunately, the bite of episode four, I am, uh, I've not actually played episode five yet, so I am terrified as to how it's gonna end. I know the general how it's gonna end because <laughs> I know how zombie bites work, but I don't <laughs> know. I don't know the details, so I'm excited to see how that turns out Not well really well shoot buckle in <laughs> buckle in Caleb. right right um we have two questions for melissa um one how where do you think clementine's story is led her to now and what's what season was your favorite clementine to play? oh geez that's tricky um uh, well, I mean, as left, I, mean, I don't know how much I, I really want to spoil for those who haven't played the final season. Uh, ha hashtag still not bitten, kinda? Anyways, um, I've seen that hashtag so many yeah. times the day alone. Hashtag. Still not bitten. Still not bitten, kinda? Uh, so there's that. Ooh. Um, you know, as far as voicing each, I mean, as Dave and I have have talked about uh, so many, you know, gratefully so many times, um, there was something just so, just season one in general just encompassed so much magic. And honestly, uh, each season for me going forward after that has its own, it has just something that is so close and precious to my heart. Um, but getting to the, the thing with season one, and this was tricky, is this is a very real and deep, uh, storyline. And it, it couldn't be like your, you know, like this cartoony kid, they needed a legitimate kid. And uh, Dan, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe they were auditioning actual children. Um, but as we all know, it's a very heavy storyline and I just had, uh, I just communicate communicated my inner child voice and found. You really got in touch with your inner child. I really did. <laughs> I literally did. Yes. Um, so so finding that voice and and locking in on the essence that voice that very kind of um, just being a little kid and and getting to be this like really strong character but also super vulnerable because she's still just a little kid. So locking in on the essence of that Clementine is like ultimately what drove season two, season three, season four, that and of course, uh, Dave's performance as Lee and his guidance as that character. So I'll say season one, but I mean, honestly, each each season uh, aging with Clem was just such an incredible, incredible experience for me. Uh, if you, if, if, when the sad stuff happens in the episode, if you start talking to me in that Clem voice, I'm gonna cry. Because like, <laughs> it's too on par with like what I've been hearing this whole game. So like, 
Uh, <laughs> I'm just not going to be prepared if some dialogue, you know, directed at me happens. <laughs> Okay, well, um, which, which gonna... means it's gonna happen, <laughs> right? right. <laughs> Dave actually, uh, Dave Connors in the chat said, um, "Is is there a wager on whether Caleb cries or not? Fifty dollar donation if Caleb does not cry. <laughs> oh, not... if he does not cry, okay. I, I misread that earlier. I'll I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> well, so is he gonna give more if you do cry? Yeah, like what's the donation okay, if I do cry? right now? <laughs> Yeah. I'll, Dave, I'll let's some... just get to it. Let's just let's act out that fight. I mean, just you know, let's just oh, act God. out. Oh God! Thirty. Yeah. Crazy Kiwi twenty four asks: Were you two ever surprised at the game when you read the scripts? Like, was there any moment that like took you by shock? I guess. You know, I, I, I was taken by shock in the first session by how good it was. Uh, at that point in my career, I'd done about 70 or 80 games. Um, fairly familiar with the genre, played a lot of characters, some main characters and some main games. And this script came along. Apparently, they had hired somebody else to play Lee Everett. They recorded a whole uh, episode and it didn't work. And... Uh, I got a call to audition, did, a week later had it. But when I went up to uh, uh, Northern California, to that little town, uh, to record in Jory Studio, God bless his soul, in the first 20 minutes, I knew this was something very, very special. It was the best writing I had ever had in a video game. And it just touched me. Uh, I related to the character, um, and as we went on, I felt so good about it. Uh, you know, when you work in video games, you're always working by yourself. You you never get to work with another actor. Uh, but I, I guess it was episode three, or we're getting to four, and I asked the, the director, um, hey, can you get in touch with the rest of these actors? I, I'd like us all to sit down and have dinner. Um, and in a little town where we recorded Fairfax in Northern California up in Sausalito County. Um, most of the actors came up and we had dinner at this little Thai restaurant. Um, and that just doesn't happen in this business. And it was all because of this game, uh, the writers, uh, the producers, uh, all the great performers uh, that were in it that, that made this so special. Um, and, and we're still friends today. Yeah, it's it's absolutely it's crazy how connective this that whole experience and then ongoing was. Yeah, I mean friends like like family, tight like family friends. And like Dave was saying in our industry, you know, you sometimes run into people and you but you kinda have to work to like, well, I really want to hang out with you, so let's make it happen. And this was just like instant, like we were all in this experience together and it was so yeah. unique. And uh yeah, I actually met Dave, so it was, we were just starting episode three. I think you had just found out the ultimate outcome. And I was randomly in Fairfax before my session doing my laundry. <laughs> Talk about random. <laughs> what is that? That's so Bay Area. This is, this is back in the day. I was like, I'm just going to go do my laundry before this recording session. <laughs> anyway. Uh but I see Dave because I knew what he looked like, you know, and I, I, there's no mistaking those beautiful dreads. So he's coming out, coming down the street and I'm like, Dave. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> you know, and it's, it's Insta friends. Yeah. Uh, and it's Insta friends because of, of the shared experience of that game. Yeah. Magic. That's, that's so cool that y'all i mean like this game obviously you know has a ton of fans and it means so much to so many um so to hear that y'all also were able to connect with one another you know oh, yeah. over how this game has touched so many people it's really cool that y'all had that experience well and, and because of this this game and you know we live in a time of conventions now are a thing and and telltale games was so kind to 
you know, we did stuff at Comic-Con and, and Dave and I have been to several conventions together and have gotten to meet fans um, of the game together and, and experience that. I mean, it's just unreal. This isn't why I got into voiceover. It wasn't like, well, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to get to the point where I'm going to be, a, you know, at conventions, you yeah. know, signing autographs. And, and, and how people reacted. I remember, uh, I think it was SAC Anime, and you and I were there, and this was a young lady, and she was going to take a picture with us, uh -huh. and came behind the table, and uh, so she's standing between us, and we put our arms around her, and she was shaking. Vibrating. It was vibrating. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, you know, I enjoy my work. I have a good time. It's almost like being a kid again and playing, you know, cops and robbers or spacemen and aliens, whatever. Um, but we had touched this person's life. And I'm surprised and pleased and humbled uh, by the number of times that uh, I've been approached by fans and when Melissa and I have been together, approached by fans who let us know how much this game and that relationship meant to them. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I was sick to my stomach leading up to this stream, and I know I'm I'm cool and charming right now, but um, I, was, I was so anxious because um, voice acting is um, a passion of mine, one that I don't do professionally by any means, but... Um, something that is important to me. So to meet y'all, I was, you know, for lack of a better term, fangirling before y'all <laughs> got vibrating. into the... Yeah, I was vibrating. And uh, so uh, really needless wrong. to say, I really appreciate y'all being here for, oh, for JDRF. Yeah. Thank you. That's very sweet of you. I didn't want to scare y'all yeah. off by admitting that, but... Uh, well, you, you know... <laughs> Nothing an actor likes more than applause and having uh, their work appreciated. Uh, there are lines you can step over, but you haven't stepped over it. I, right. I will keep that in mind. <laughs> keep going. Come They're on, nice. What else do you like about us? Yeah. Oh, no, but please tell me more about me. Me. Oh, I've <laughs> talked enough about me. Now you can talk about me. Yeah, now it's your turn. Yes. I want to say real quick thank you to Madam Moonshadow for the ten dollar donation. Woo uh, and Woo Come on, get dig deep, deep in your pockets, y'all. <laughs> and thank you to Jonathan Forrester for the one hundred dollar donation. Uh, yes, really, Jonathan. Woo! Uh, really appreciate uh, it. Maple wanted to say hello, by the way. Woof, woof. You can see Aww. how thrilled she is. Wow. Wow. Okay. She's like, put me down, woman. I was sleeping. Archie. <laughs> I'm gonna see if my uh, lad, um, Archie Gray, hey, Bobby, come here. So I'm gonna have to. Can you hold him up? <laughs> yeah, I can't quite uh hold him like yeah. a little chihuahua, but this is Archie. Yeah. Bye, baby boy. I have to look at the delay on Twitch. Oh. There's like a weird, funky delay, by oh. the way. Yeah, there it's a long delay. It's oh, there always will be. God. Yeah. I want to squeeze your dog. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's a labradoodle. Yeah, he's he's actually oh, just a poodle. He's um a uh he's a chocolate standard poodle, but he looks so much like a doodle, like some sort of mix that he might be. <laughs> Well, he's adorable. There he is. Uh, Dave and also has. And you guys dog. almost have the same hair. Yeah, yeah. we do. <laughs> <laughs> Twinsies. Yes, uh, I've. My, that was one of my mother-in-law's first comments when we got him. It's like, oh, he looks just like his dad. I'm like, ha ha. <laughs> yeah, she. She probably didn't say it with the same tone that I did. <laughs> right. Oh, he looks just like his dad. Oh, well. No. <laughs> you know, you're not good enough for my daughter. <laughs> did I remind um, you about that? So, oh. hold on. I'm trying to, like, read. Sorry, I literally, like, need glasses to read this. Oh, you're this. good. When did that happen? Could you ask <laughs> Melissa if I could get a Team Violet, maybe in Clem's voice? Team Violet, 100%. Yes. 
There you go. Yeah. And then there was, a, let's see, question for Dave and Melissa. What happens to Kenny if you stay in Wellington in season two? Oh, well, uh, poor Kenny. Have you ever seen South Park? <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, it's just his ultimate, unfortunately. <laughs> Kenny, I think Gavin Hammond, who plays Kenny, amazing and one of our closest friends as well. Yeah. I, I literally, I did actually get to record in the studio with him, and I have it on tape, on tape, digital. I shot it with my phone, That's whatever, right. whatever. You're giving, your, you're giving your age away. <laughs> I know, right? I've got it on videotape. On Betamax. Uh, his death scene, it's phenomenal. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm. Uh, he just dies. Sorry. Uh, uh, Team Kenny. Yeah. Team Kenny. Yeah. Uh, Gunter asked, did Clem lit, lick the salt lick in season one or what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's the key. I'm going to leave it with that. <laughs> that whole moment. It's like. <laughs> but did know. she eat the people? Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, depends on how you played it. <laughs> <laughs> was she as. Um, as as quick to eat as uh, Duck was, or you know, some oh, of the duck. other characters. Duck. <laughs> or duck. Or duck. Go down. <laughs> yeah, I kind of expected him to like hear about it and then like you know take another spoonful or something. Uh, yeah. But luckily, <laughs> that didn't happen. Really? But it's good. But yeah. I like it, Dad. Wow. <laughs> we should have people more often. <laughs> yeah. Aw, poor Duck. I'm not hating on Duck. Don't good worry, old stumpy. everybody. <laughs> um i see a i hold on i see a username that's calibrated gamers mom um that's not my mom is it <laughs> i i couldn't tell you haven't be... called me oh <laughs> calibrated gamers mom hey hey yeah. hope, you know i can't confirm nor deny if that's my mother but mm -hmm. <laughs> she's um, got some chores for you to do yeah, yeah. Once, once to remind me that I can't stay up late because I've got. Caleb, you've got to clean your room. <laughs> There's grass cutting to do tomorrow. <laughs> you say grass cutting? Yes. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Wow. Mowing? Should I say? I'm sorry. <laughs> if y'all say, if y'all hear me say y'all or you know, like any other, I'm again. Where, where, where are you from, Kim? Uh, I'm from South Haven, Mississippi, which is right outside of Memphis, Tennessee. No, 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 um, no. It's Mississippi. Yes, Mississippi. That's what I said. There's, there's, there's more syllables in there. No, it, there's an apostrophe. There, there's one less I. <laughs> no, born and raised. Same same area. Well, I'm from the Ozarks. Dave, aren't you from, are you, you're not from Texas, are you from? I'm not, my mother's from Texas. I spent a lot of time down there, but I grew up in the armpit of the nation, Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> there you that go. <laughs> well, needless to say, one of, one of my earliest childhood memories was wondering why my parents settled there. It's a better town now than it was. I now. was there this year, last year, or whenever. It was awesome. It's not a bad place now, but when I was a kid, uh, not so much. There was a hole. <laughs> um, two things. Uh, MJ TWD. I can't read all those letters. Says Dave, can you please say he he in Lee's voice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't know how to uh, translate that. You know, Lee, Lee didn't do a whole lot of laughing. <laughs> yeah, no. no, he did not. <laughs> it always actually felt weird. I know you didn't get to experience that too much, but going on in, in the other seasons, there were a few scenes, especially with Clem and AJ, where there was some laughter, and it actually felt kind of like weird uh, giving yeah. birth to laughter because we're so not used to it as these characters so and it's like, funny when 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 he just asked that question i went i don't think i ever recall lee laughing at anything he might have like giggled at clem like a huh you know, yeah i don't it know right. oh, yeah it like, might have been a giggle at clem or maybe a dark laugh <laughs> dark yeah. laugh like that oh, i can't believe this is happening. right like the only time i can think about it is if clem said something that's like one of those you know kids will say the darndest things moments where <laughs> like but besides that like not a whole lot of wasn't very uh jovial you know was it, it was not a lighthearted romp through no. the <laughs> can't say it was 
Um, I, I have a question real quick for Calibrated Gamer's mom because I'm genuinely curious. Who are you? Well, because in the chat, they said, yes, he's my favorite Caleb, which is something my mom would say. So I do want to ask, what is my middle name? Because if you can tell me that, I know you're at least related to me, if not my actual mother. Um, right. <laughs> but um, not to not to out my mom or my middle name, um, but um, I guess we could go ahead and, if you guys are okay with it, get started on the episode. Um, can, can I do one thing? I was yeah. I was looking. I was looking at the feed and uh, somebody had a question. Can Dave say, I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Ooh. Yes, I love that line. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> your voice, your, uh, can I marry your voice? Tell Mo it's just all about the voice. I, I'm already inviting myself to come she, live with you. You know, she, she's pretty married <laughs> to the voice. She tells people all the time that uh, it was the voice that got her. I mean, <laughs> duh. I mean, no, not. I mean, I mean that. There's so many other things. <laughs> did not wow. mean that. Wow. Okay. You know what I mean. Yes, you did, and it's okay. <laughs> Dave, I'm so sorry. I I don't know what's gotten into her. Uh... Our, our voice, voice actor, We're very like. I am all about like uh, being a voice actor. We're you know people who are very sensitive to the to audio in the world. So yeah. when you hear of someone with a good singing voice or speaking voice, it's instantly attractive. Yeah. yeah, and it's the opposite for when you meet someone. You're like, oh god, yeah. wow, not that. Hi, how are you? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, sweetheart, you look gorgeous. Why don't you? Uh, let right. me make you dinner. <laughs> like, oh, that's amazing. Works for someone. It's a good character, though. Yeah, because there's somebody for everybody. For everybody. This is so true. For everybody. <laughs> yeah. Well, y'all. Um, when we do start the game, of course, y'all can. You know watch as long as y'all want y'all can cut out or cut back in whenever y'all need to um y'all's webcams won't be on but um feel free to chat about anything you see happening in the game on um, okay. but we can are we keeping our sorry this is probably should have been figured out let me just interrupt the stream with uh technical questions are dave and i keep our cameras on though so we can see each other uh you can if you want uh, or not either way um whatever y'all prefer i know some of the game developers after as soon as i switched off they were turning off their webcams and you know pulling up on a couch so it really depends well, I'm on doing that, but um yeah <laughs> <laughs> you can don't see me sneaking off into the kitchen to like <laughs> a glass of wine or something yeah. you drink oh i don't know <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, one more time before we get started, I just want to mention that this is for uh, the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. Um, we are very close. Okay, so initially, my initial goal this year, um, because this month we were doing the Game to Give charity event, and uh, my initial goal was to reach $500. Um, I think it was actually $400. It was something like that because, um, last year my goal was a hundred dollars and we made 400. So I was like, okay, like if we can reach $500, I'll be, you know, pretty satisfied. Um, so the fact that we are at $4,910, uh, almost to our new $5,000 goal. I am ecstatic for sure. <laughs> That's so awesome. Yes. That is so incredible. All the money goes to help fight type 1 diabetes. Uh, goes to the to JDRF, the leading researchers in finding a cure. And um, not everyone knows this. Sorry if Calibrated Gamer's mom is my actual mother, because I certainly didn't tell her this. But uh, I plan on getting a tattoo when we reach $5,000. Um, because I've always wanted to get a tattoo that has a lot of meaning to me. Um, not so, on your face though, right? No, no, I'm not, <laughs> my, no Mike Tyson for me. I'm, I'm good. I, uh, I, it's going to be on my arm. And, um, when Blake passed away, a lot of his friends, a lot of my friends got tattoos and I was, I always wanted to, but it, I wanted to figure out what tattoo I wanted to get. I wanted it to be special. Um, so I've decided, um, he's got, so the bracelet is, 
because I accidentally, uh, a bird ate part of it while I was on vacation. Uh, like one of those parrots sitting on your shoulder, taking a picture with, nope, get down, buddy. <laughs> um, but it's hard to see. In fact, let me pull up the stream so I make sure you can actually see it. Um, this, this, <laughs> this wristband's old. I do have a different one that is at my desk at work. But um, we have a team called Blake's Batman. Uh, team Blake's Batman. Um, that was our JDRF walking team whenever we would walk to raise money after 2017. And I'm going to get the Batman logo tattooed on my arm because Blake's two favorite things in the entire world were Batman and The Walking Dead. Uh, oh. and, I, and I didn't need a zombie on my arm. So, uh, no. <laughs> so the Batman logo was the next best thing. Well, there you go. Cool. That's amazing. Bravo. Yeah. Bravo. Thank you. I cannot wait to see that. I'm very excited, and I pretty much planned on getting it regardless if we reach the $5,000 goal, but the fact that we pretty much will reach it tonight is very exciting, because now I can actually, you know... Get some ink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I might wait until the coronavirus is kind of, like, lesser, because uh, I'm terrified of needles, and I might need my wife to be there, but, you know, we'll we'll work yeah. out those details. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I might, just, I, might, I might just have to man up and get it done, you know, but we'll see. <laughs> um, all right, well, I'm going to switch over to the game. Um, okay. And we'll... So just another quick question for yeah. Grandma over here. You're good. <laughs> Since Twitch has this delay, I have the sound off on Twitch. I guess that's just kind of how it has to go. Yeah, you can have the game muted or you can be listening to it separately unfortunately you'll be hearing my voice uh with a lag if you listen too closely to the stream um, oh so i'm muted so that i don't so <laughs> my brain doesn't start oozing out of my ears right it's very easy to do that these days okay um, and if you uh if you refresh the stream it might help a little bit with that lag uh unfortunately twitch always has a lag um it's hard to avoid. Okay. Uh, yeah, JDRF did say, what if she mutes Discord? Well, the only issue is if she does that, then she's going to hear yeah. us at a lag. <laughs> so she's going to be answering our questions with like, you know, a six to ten second difference. Uh, right. <laughs> but um, whatever works better. Got it. Real, real quick, uh, another question before we officially jump in. Uh, to Melissa and Dave. Later on in life, I want to pursue voice acting myself. Where do you start? Uh, what, what would be just a general good starting tip that y'all might be able um, to do? Acting lessons are always a good idea. Uh, depending on your age, if you're in school, you can get in, involved in theater. Uh, when you get to a point where you're making a little money, uh, you're out of school, maybe, uh, maybe be a theater major in, in college. Uh, but take lessons, learn the craft, learn to be a good voice actor, learn to be a good actor, uh, realize, learn that it's not about your voice. Uh, that's what people hear and they think that's what it is, but it's really about connecting with people here and here. Uh, yeah, I second that. I watched a lot of cartoons that helped a lot. Um, also I have, I mean, my background going into this was, uh, theater. And I started acting as a young kiddo and yeah. that it what Dave said it's all acting uh, there's some uh, voice actors out there who have also written some pretty awesome like what do I need to do to become a voice actor I know Yuri Lowenthal and Tara Platt wrote a book I'm totally spacing on because I'm a horrible human being um, no, it's, and it's a good book I have it it's an amazing book yeah I, al I also teach voiceover Oh, wow. Yeah, I've started teaching voiceover for Voice One here in San Francisco. Um, but yeah, there's so many outlets now to, and because of uh, internet access and being able to, you know, you don't have to necessarily be in New York, Chicago, LA, San Francisco. You can actually yeah. be yeah. in and, Cleveland, Ohio, and yeah. still have access to amazing instructors. And, and because of the pandemic, something has changed, and home studios are much more. Uh, in vogue now, uh, studios that might, uh, companies that might not have hired you in your own home studio now need to hire you in your own home studio. 
So uh, there are opportunities for people who can be connected. Um, so that, and just, you know, I do a thing every Wednesday, 6 p.m. Pacific, Ask Dave Fenoy Anything. And it's all about voiceover. And I bring on guests. I'm going to have you on, Melissa. I bring on guests uh, from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, we talk about their careers and answer questions from people who tune, it, tune into my Facebook page. Awesome. And it's free. Yeah. That's the best yeah. kind of awesome. <laughs> That's the best kind of Wednesday show. Yeah. For sure. Oh, also, real quick, we we reached the $5,000 goal. Um Woo! the last the most recent donation was from Caleb's mama for $100. So uh, who, your mom or not? Who so, is this? no idea who this mystery person is. Okay. It could very well be my mother. And if so, um, someone probably had to help her set up a Twitch account. Um, but it's probably not my mother. So, uh, <laughs> you know, either way is fun. Everybody that donated, you should pat yourselves on the back. Yes. yes. Uh, this is a way to involve yourself in making the world a little bit of a better place. Uh, feel good about yourself and, uh, you know, Keep doing that when you can. Uh, donate to great causes. Indeed. For sure. Indeed. Especially, you know, and um, I always tell my followers, because I have a lot of followers that are either broke college kids or are in high school, um, and whenever we do charity streams, they're like, I can't donate. Well, even if you just share those charity streams, you know, like find them on Twitter and share the word, like um, that goes a long way too because you know you can find those people that actually have money in their pockets to, to donate so yeah and um, energetically it just uh, not not go all hippy dippy on you but energetically if you participate in anything like that you just put your energy and intention and love towards anything meaningful like that then uh it matters and it helps and it connects and i'm done yeah <laughs> not really <laughs> don't be done with the stream where we yeah, gotta start the game <laughs> yeah oh yeah right uh in fact i'm gonna go ahead and um we're still talking but i'm gonna go ahead and transition okay. to the game officially cool. um that that went a little <laughs> i mean bye visually everybody yeah bye visually bye. Oh. <laughs> time to take oh. her <laughs> <laughs> they're gone and Dave, are you going to camera on or off? I'm gonna I think I'll camera off. And okay. uh, so. All right. Bye. All right. So, hey, guys, officially to the season one, episode five of Telltale's The Walking Dead. Um, still here with Dave and Melissa and still having to deal with the ramifications of Clementine being kidnapped and Lee being bitten. So that's fun. Uh, <laughs> and, and, um, you know, I, 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 I shock people when I say I haven't played this episode and I really am like, I was not. Okay. So I wasn't blind. Spoiler alert. In case you don't know how zombie bites work. Uh, Lee doesn't, you know, make it past this episode. And I knew that. Because, um, actually, the first time I played this game was with my, um, my, my friend Blake, who passed away in 2017. He has a little brother named Dallas. And back then, I was doing uh, YouTube videos. And we actually played The Walking Dead together. Uh, because, uh, it, you know, The Walking Dead really was so important to Blake. And Dallas loved this game. And he's like, I just want to see the look on your face when we get to episode 5. So we played through episode one through three, but the reason we didn't play any more was just because it was hard for us to find time to play it. Um, Cause we were in like totally different areas. Thank you Calibrate Gamers mom for <laughs> following. <laughs> I, JDRF says that's my actual mother, but I, I, I couldn't tell you. Um, anyway, point is that we played through episode three. So I obviously knew that when we recently replayed through episode three, for the JDRF charity stream, I knew what was going to happen. Um, and I knew from images of seasons two and three of like Lee not being there. And I knew from like 
the internet that Lee wouldn't make it, but I have no idea about the details of this. So, That's crazy. I'm so excited for you. Yeah. So I'm actually, I'm really like, I'm kind of shocked at how little I know about this episode. Um, so I'm really excited to like get into that. <laughs> okay. I can't stop that alert. There you go. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. Um, okay, everyone's gonna start following now, so I'm going to turn off the alerts for just the moment. <laughs> uh, cause I don't need Mario music to play, uh, during the set episode. <laughs> that would be a twist! Yeah, it happened a couple of times during the last episode. <laughs> and like, you know, like a zombie would like, be chasing us down a hall or something in the school, and then all of a sudden you hear Mario's little, you know, <laughs> like, Yay, I beat the level music. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, my overlay isn't previously rolling. Walking dead. I'll check that in a second. <gasps> Wait, is the game... Game start? What if I... my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Baby, you gotta see this. Here, Clem. Want some batteries? Comments that I know you're having technical difficulties, so I'll just talk through that about the Lily and Clem pizza ordering thing, and uh, that was pretty amazing. I will second that. You didn't Google it, YouTube it. Railroad, did you? We gotta go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I see Why? that. Hmm. Clementine. Clementine. That's almost on par with the Super Mario Brothers music. <laughs> that's it. That's the exact song. I'm glad. I'm glad you know it from memory. <laughs> You know, I had a little alien here singing. Sing some more, little alien. <laughs> like, <laughs> done, alien. like, that's crazy, man. <laughs> that's pretty good. Thank you. I... <laughs> I can't take credit for the Velociraptor noise or whatever that was. <laughs> That was also pretty good. <laughs> that's, uh, you know, that's what we voice actors do in our Burn spare it. time. Get out here. There make doesn't funny have to noises be any and very strange All voices. And we give them give histories and, and we talk about hurt. where they came from and why they're I'm so talking. sick. Are you all right? <laughs> where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Um, I got, I, it'll take me a minute to get used to this delay on the Twitch. I'm not going to complain about it anymore. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Delay, no. man. Not oh. at all. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out like what you're seeing. Maybe I should have. Right, right now it's mainly just Lee yelling into the walkie-talkie right. at Vernon. Got it. I see. Okay, I'm on. I'm on the same page. I see it. This isn't a kidnapping. Lee. Um. I don't care what it is. Uh, Just let her go. I can enlarge the screen. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. <laughs> <laughs> I call it very particular. But, um, and Vernon's not, or, uh, has literally gone radio silent. Oh, um, no, no. Nothing like technical difficulties. Don't yes. Worry, pal. We'll get her back. I, um... It's been so interesting watching, uh, out of all the characters, watching Kenny's arc in this season from being the family man who can get through anything to being just so desolate, you know? My hand is hot and it's thumping a little bit. Uh, you seem yeah. Okay for now. <laughs> Yeah. I, I mean, again, this is we don't have such, time. it just goes for, I can speak for all of the actors 
I just I will speak for everyone um, to be able to transition so much uh, within a character within a season such a remarkable experience yep. I want to say real quick uh, Reb fan Jake in the chat is my um, brother he asked me to say hello to my niece before we sign off or before they sign off so hi Lainey thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed hi, yeah do y'all mind saying hello Lainey Hi, Lainey. This is Clementine. You don't know who I am, probably, but that's okay. This game is kind of scary. <laughs> Unless you're like a teenager, then you've already played it. <laughs> this hey, is Lainey, quite young. doing this? This is Lee, and uh, I specialize in taking care of little girls. Wait a minute. That sounded terrible. <laughs> <laughs> There's that no sounded context. So wrong. <laughs> Whole different context there. <laughs> <laughs> But, but thank you, Lainey. Y'all have a good night. Thanks, Lainey. Um, Bye, Lainey. Yeah, if, she's... if every time you said y'all, we were drinking, I'd be drunk by now. And that was not a comment. I love it. Again, I'm from the Ozarks. That's, you're, you're speaking my speak right now. <laughs> speaking my speak? Speaking my speak. It <laughs> doesn't take much for me to go right back to the airport. Maybe I know, need to go get a glass of wine. <laughs> I, I might do that as well. I haven't even—I don't have a glass of wine in my hand. I'll have you know. That's or, just or, or better yet, uh, as Lee, glass of that bourbon. Mm-hmm. If I could. Have a good night, Raj. <laughs> oh. That's, oh, good night. Looks like a contract. Good night, Raj. Raj, good night. Uh, I hate that this item I just picked up is called a rib spreader. I don't like that. I, I don't know, uh, my, my wife, Mary, she's um, a nighttime nurse at labor and delivery. So um, I typically stream when she's working. So she's working a shift right now. And um, needless to say, she would know a lot more about general medical oh, equipment than I do. <laughs> um, Slick Rick, uh, has, uh, which is awesome, by the way, that that's your uh, name on the Twitch, um, asked if we had to practice Clem and Lee before going into the session, or was it just on the spot? I think uh, for me, and maybe for Dave, uh, once you come up with a voice, uh, they will always have reference files in the beginning so they can play it back to you so you can hear it to make sure you're on the mark. Uh, but once you lock in, it's, you don't really need to practice it. You just just kind of, it's kind of there. Yeah, that, you know, and Lee's voice really is my voice. Uh, it's but he's he's has been beaten down by life, and hey, he has some things to hide, out. and uh, he's not trying to be loud. And you know, sometimes you, you just make your voice a little smaller because I'll have you don't want the world to really see you. Uh, right. So it was it was easy for me to to get in the Lee voice and be in the Lee voice, um, and I I don't have any problem jumping in and out of it. Um, and it's interesting you say that because I was uh, uh, just saying I think to you, Caleb, or no, someone I was ta I think I did a cameo for someone. I was explaining my uh, voice thing. Uh, season four, Clem is a lot like my voice, same tone, same you know we're on the same tone. But she has that thing too, where she's just softer. So, oh my God, I turned in. I basically, I'm honoring Lee all the way through. <laughs> and you didn't even know it, did you? She's way smoother, way cooler than I am. But yeah, it's just that softening of the voice. That's yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and it's you know, this has to be done. some whoever to ask about acting. Sorry, pal. Uh, one of the best ways to learn how to act is to watch people, and oh, watch people. Stop. Uh, how they speak right. when so, they're in various moods, including yourself, at the very least, uh, and, and see what you really sound like, see what you really do. And uh, think about those times when you're upset anything. or happy or whatever the mood you know, there's is. Um, what are you thinking about as you're saying what you're saying? What if he dies? There's a whole other the dialogue going on in your head and get the hell out of Savannah. that Damn we don't right. usually Let's consider. Do if there's but a it's chance gold it stops you from turning, for actors. We have to take it. Jesus. 
And I you think that just went over about. everybody's heads. No. Sorry. I am... Um, I was listening, but I am also I focused on them talking about oh, chopping Lee's just... arm off. Well, what if it well I'll, I'll do this thing. Somebody just That's said... Um, freestyle is Cable... Freestyle is Caleb's greatest moderator. He is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, oh. You, you chose to chop it off, right? I did, and this is going to hurt popped up on the screen. Seriously. Ow! That is such a great notification. Ow! You know, in... I'm so in, sorry, Dave. Uh, yeah. Oh, th this was one of my favorite scenes to do. Uh, going through the the chopping off, and uh, I mean we 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 chopped it off so many ways. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there were so many very uh, varied oh, screams and cries, and uh, gee, we're we gonna cut it off with one blow. We're gonna saw it off, or we're gonna right, saw right. it and chop it. Uh, <laughs> then do we fricassee it? Right. <laughs> then what do we do with the arm after? Yeah. <laughs> yeah just throw it out the window. Um, yeah, use it use it as a baseball bat. Yeah. Beat, beat some zombies with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I am not a fan. <laughs> yes. Not a fan. Uh, Try to stay fit. Great, that's... great, great no. voice acting, though. Oh, oh God. I know. Damn. Uh, yeah. Ah, hate that. Yeah, not a fan. Not a fan of that. <laughs> Did I mention I'm not a gore fan? <laughs> ah. Even, um, yeah. even cell shaded uh, cartoon gore. Not a fan. You know that, that's making my arm tingle. <laughs> You're having phantom pains oh! from your, uh, from your days of recording this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Man. Someone said they've, they've never seen anybody so make the lost. choice to chop it off. I uh, almost didn't. <laughs> it's, I, yeah. I mean, so bad. do what you can, right? Right. Oh, God, what time? If you're happy and you know it, how dare you? <laughs> Hold your arm. Oh, well. And you know, somebody's going to call him Stubby. Right. Yeah. I, I immediately called <laughs> yeah. Mark uh, Stumpy when they Good. chopped off his legs for dinner uh, <laughs> in that episode. So I definitely know oh, the there will be people that do that. <laughs> Yo, people are sick. <laughs> oh, I love this intensity dragon comment. Little known fact, they actually chopped off Dave's arm for this scene. It added a uh, necessary realism to his screams. <laughs> we have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can that, How did you know? Wow. Do they pay you decent for that though? I mean Oh yeah, you get hazard pay for that. Okay, good. And and they and they pay for the uh, you know, reattachment. Right. And then you're getting paid for you know, actually voice acting for the day, so. Okay, there you yeah. go. You really can make a lot of money when you let them cut off your body parts. <laughs> yeah, and now we're having a little trouble climbing one armed, which I never thought about, but that would be quite difficult on a ladder. Yeah. Especially a ladder, that, a ladder that's uh, rocking, or the elevator next to it is rocking. Yep. Either way. But Lee's a superhero. <laughs> Dave is half lizard confirmed. Um, I don't know. Is that uh, is that true, Dave? Uh, uh wait, 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 wait. Um, Dave is is a lizard person. I certainly hope not. <laughs> <laughs> you find out today. <laughs> I have skin, not scales. <laughs> I'm warm blooded, not cold blooded. <laughs> I have human skin. But, um, but is it your human skin? Uh, I grew it, yes. <laughs> somebody okay. asked us to say somebody's name. His name is Jacob. What? Jacob? Jacob. So Jacob. Now Jacob. 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 Episode Have 5 of Evil 2. Oh, yeah. Aww. You should definitely uh, clip that McSpicy Dan <laughs> for later use. Is Shrek gonna be? <laughs> I don't know. Remember when Savannah was in? You know, those Crawford bastards. Somebody once told me. Like, I guess. Somebody oh, I see that line. 
Great minds. <laughs> Damn it, great. There's that song sure stuck in my head for the rest of the night. Maybe my life. Uh, do y'all get asked all the time to do y'all's voices saying different things? Well, what do we do now? Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I believe it. Does it ever, um, does it ever bother y'all? Or... Um, Let's get our bearings and see. Does it ever get you to be know, too much? To it it's, it has never gotten to be good. too much That's for me. Good. No. Um, uh, I, I know there know are some actors, uh, probably you know, more down. famous uh, on screen, uh, that have problems window, with fans. I I love the worse. fans, um, and I'm always happy to say hello. I don't want you to follow me around the store and you know. Right. <laughs> Come home with me, okay. but I'm happy to say Probably hello to, go to, uh, to, to fans. Uh, it's right. nice so that people like your work. Treat me like I am. We won't. Yeah. No. Um. Yeah, and normally we in this, uh, find a little girl it's like normally her. within con right, pal. text of being at a convention no. or Let's being. Yeah. Right. You know, I mean, that's that's one of the things with being a voice actor. We don't. Generally, I don't. Dave, you're way more recognizable than I am uh, as far as I don't walk down the street and like, oh my God, it's Clementine. <laughs> Melissa Hutchison. You know, I don't have that Hospital. issue Hospital. yet. Doctor. I'm working on well, it. I, I don't quite have, nobody calls me Clementine, but. Um, <laughs> don't have that issue. You know, I, I, I get recognized from time to time. Usually people are a little nervous about uh, Saying hello, I, I'll, I'll be walking down the street or in a store or someplace with my wife, and she Almost notices like people kind of. Oh, Fuck that place! Oh man, I did fix up our <laughs> and, and then she'll say, so "Oh, oh, you, you know that? Well, come on over, this say hello." <laughs> right. Right. Something tells me. But I, I often am just oblivious. I'm just going through my day doing my thing, so I kind of, you know, uh oh, uh, real who's quick. afraid of heights? Who's afraid of heights? Oh, am I supposed to look down? Uh, I don't want to do that, but I will. Here's a way down. Okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> half the dead population of Georgia um, wandering the streets down there. I wanted to say that uh, Wanted Snow asked, OMG, can you say hi to jo Joanna, please? Is it Johanna? Johanna? I don't know that name. Hi, Johanna. Johanna. Uh, Johanna, Johanna. Is it Johanna or is it Johanna? Well, whoever she is, hi. <laughs> it's so awesome to hear y'all's voices. I'm so giddy. <laughs> I'm keeping it in Wait a minute. Who, who the hell is Hot Nipple? I don't know. They just followed me on Twitch, so thank you. Thank you, Hot Nipple. <laughs> I've thanked a Hot Nipple before. <laughs> Aw, uh, Tara says, could you wish me a happy birthday? It would be amazing. What was the name? Uh, the uh Tara, the from the I believe. Tara. Happy birthday, Tara. Happy, happy birthday, Tara. Tara. Happy birthday, Tara. We'll stop off at the main <laughs> happy birthday, Tara. Happy birthday, Tara. Don't let the zombies get you. Nice. <laughs> I will be right back y'all keep talking um i've got to check on my puppy real quick yeah yeah he's going to a for a bathroom break yeah yeah <laughs> too embarrassed he's gonna come back and sound relieved <laughs> wow they're still still oh, well, uh the willow wolf is from ireland oh from my from my motherland huh. hey there lassie very cool. And Nate is Poggers? Huh. Um, let's see. Hey, this is Clementine, and Nate is Poggers. Hopefully Poggers doesn't mean something really bad, or Lee might get mad that I just said it. Um, I missed that. <laughs> I didn't see that one. Please say something like, uh, this is Lee and Clementine, and, oh, yeah, yeah, Nate is Poggers. Oh, yeah. Hey, I don't know about you, but Nate is Poggers. I know, right? <laughs> I'm going to have to Google Poggers now. Be like, oh, wait, maybe I shouldn't have said that. So, Poggers is just 
Twitch talk, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Like, Twitch, what, what does it mean? Or something? It's like, God, that makes me feel old. if you look up um, PogChamp, or if you look up Pog, maybe, you might be able to find it, but not, not, like, just, not like Pogs. <laughs> but yeah, it's like just what? a really excited face. Your lips like, oh. yeah. Yeah, it's What's that face in here? the chat by uh, Chalk, Chalk Your That's Load. Huh. Yeah. Okay, that could help. Good old Pog Champ. That that's just an old image, and a lot of people like to draw their characters doing the Pog face, or you know, etc. Oh, why is there a run option to the bell? Well, I don't know. Maybe you should take it. I I'm terrified with one arm. Ah, uh, choices, choices. <laughs> well, hmm. Higher than yeah. the roof for starters. Yeah. It, it keeps giving me the option to. It, it keeps giving me a down arrow. Am I supposed to be able to look down, or does that just mean walk away? Um. Maybe it means jump. <laughs> Go down. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, uh, he needs a ladder I am, or something. Yeah, I thank you, thank you, game. <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna give a shout out to Tyler real fast. This is for Mac Four Z Z. Hey Tyler, it's Clementine or Melissa I Hutchison, whoever you prefer to actually be talking to. Hi. Hey Tyler, it's Lee Everett. You're pretty awesome, dude. You're pretty awesome. Oh, shit. <laughs> real quick, why did why did they make Lee the one armed guy? Goodbye, pull the so ladder up for that's we can all about them. being the playable character the he was like the strong you know the, the strength and right and slim is a playable character they're like oh there's a small hole why don't you crawl nice into that actually in season one there are a few times where lee had to put her through like a window right uh someone earlier said that slim going through the doggy door was their favorite scene i get bitten again pretty cute so i that sounds dirty <laughs> Are you? You need to go pour yourself that bourbon. <laughs> the night is young. <laughs> the night is young. Um, somebody asked me if I got along with Gideon Adlon, who plays Violet in season four. She's a lovely human being. It was so much fun getting to hang out with her. Um, totally. She's she's super rad. She's good people. She is our people. <laughs> Pamela Adlon's daughter. Her, Gideon's also an on does a lot of on camera stuff, but Pamela Adlon is. Uh, um. Oh my God! Why am I forgetting the oh, show? She was the voice. Huh? Well, I'll do that. No, no, no. Do your thing. My brain's <laughs> failing. I I'm gonna turn on my camera for just a Holy second to show shit, you something. Man. Okay. Are you okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. Oh wow. Well. I haven't it tried it yet. Shit. I have my way out of I it. haven't. Yeah. That is actual Walking Dead. Spirits of, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Spirits of the Apocalypse. I'm sorry, Ooh. I don't have the the webcams pulled up right now. <laughs> the ladder. So, um, yeah, the ladder gave way. So, we, we kind of had to do some quick moving. But, um, in fact, I loved it. While y'all were talking, Kimmy actually said, why are we making the one-armed man climb the ladder? And I'm like, because he's the playable character. Like, we've already talked about this. <laughs> you know, like... Oh. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, that's just how it goes. They're coming Holy. this way! But he's doing fine! Look at him! Look Jesus. at him go! Now get yeah, back here. he's good. He's, he's killing it! <laughs> <laughs> Ask not for whom the bell tolls. <laughs> it tolls for thee. The what? <laughs> For the zombies, the walkers. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. Uh, why would it? you it jump? Ain't that far. Um. You got this. Well, I mean. This, motherfucker. Well, they got the ladder now. What are they gonna do with it? <laughs> do a flip. Here we go. Uh. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Guess I gotta grab that. Yep. 
All right, cool. That would have been an awful uh, quick time event to mix. Goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. <laughs> <laughs> I know I want to make real time commentary for what you're doing on the game right now, but it's gonna right. not. How bad is the lag? Um... Uh, well, in my in my Twitch feed, he just grabbed on to the ledge. So good wow. job. Yeah. <laughs> that that yeah. is so bad. I'm so sorry that it's that That's off. Okay. Is that with you too, Dave? Is that where yeah. you were at? Yep, yep, same spot. Ah. And we're going to a new scene now. Yeah, they just walked up to the garage in my scene, so... Oh, um, there's a handsome come devil. Come on, just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here uh, until we find Clem. Maybe if we ha if you had a, a little How microphone on your speaker... You think so? Definitely. You could just listen to where they're at hey, in the guys. game. Ah. Lee's right. It was Vernon in that support group. Well, I see no a question for you, way. Melissa. Will you be seeing any Influence? future or The Directions, Walking Dead uh, involving you? your characterization. Uh, yeah, like the, He's right. the show? Not Did it specify people. that? People have been dealing with uh, future. Wa oh, I don't know. I mean, you know, this is uh, as far as the game goes, and the character uh, Clementine is now officially property of Skybound, which makes sense. That's you know, if it's not going to be Telltale Games, sadly, then. You know, Skybound, Robert Kirkman, this is he feels bad his, his baby, his universe. Maybe so I feel happy man, that she's time there. Time. I don't know. To my knowledge, legitimately, honestly, I can say I have no clue. Uh, if they did something, that'd be awesome. If they put her on the show, I mean, that would be awesome, but not awesome for me. We shouldn't be out in right. the uh, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> it was like Gollum and Lord of the Rings, and I'm working on a, you know, just a CGI character in the middle. <laughs> so we get you know, and then what? We get through and through, us. it's I'm done with it. It's not but gonna be me, but that's you know, that's also going. fine. I, I oh I'm just glad that she yeah. made it to to where she did, way. um, and the, and that the game uh, actually got actually finished. So yeah. To lose without us. God bless them. God bless them. Everyone keep it together. Uh, changed, wanted snow aka Joha johanna uh donated ten dollars and said love y'all melissa dave and calibrated gamer made my day Aww. thank you for the donation Ooh, yeah thank you oh there's another request from hot nipple uh <laughs> to say hello to uh her friend zoe as uh lee and clem well i know take it we're just gonna look out for number one and Number two. Say you know, to Zoe. It's Zoe, like yeah. That, man. Hey Zoe, it's Clementine. Um, and your friend, um, Hot Nipple. I think that might be a bad word as well, but I'm not sure. Anyways, um, she told me to say hi to you, so that's what I'm doing. Hi. You know that's what I'm doing. Zoe. This is bullshit. How you doing? This is Lee Everett. Your friend, Hot Nipple. Uh. His opinion got a number. A oh, uh, <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> right. <laughs> to say hi. Hi. <laughs> I was literally just thinking I need to ask them to like do my ringtone uh, or my uh, voicemail. Yeah. Yeah. So when you said I you've mean, got some number, I was like, all right. <laughs> Probably been asked that be before. Able to get into the backyard, right? Oh yeah. Maybe not. We can secure oh, that's this so great. place. Um, front the windows room the front windows. Door. Okay, the there's, there's. I'm so sorry. There's a lag. I uh, look for where. I'm just trying to tell the find. gang we'll do. how to prepare for Hold the me. oncoming zombies. What is it? Yeah, no. Keep you do your thing. Front doors. Front doors. Front doors. <laughs> oh, oh. What is you? Okay. Uh, something's grabbing me through the doggy door. Oh! And it's. It is a Zombo. Yeah, I figure. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh... <laughs> it's not Krista, it's not Clem. Well, Hurry. you know, I was. I was unsure for two seconds if it was a zombie hand or a zombie dog, and I didn't know if that was possible. So. I don't think you've seen. I don't think the zombie dog exists. In this, in this zombie universe. Right, because season two there was Sam, rest in peace, Sam, and uh, that dog did not come back. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Ready, ready to fight. 
This place seems dirty to me. Archie Gray, are you upset? I cut my arm off. I'm gonna cut your arm off too. <laughs> Time to chop. Um, oh no! Oh, that was uh, our friend. I forget her name. The the uh, the developers told me that yes, she me won a contest and had her likeness put into the game, uh, or her name, I think was what it was. Oh, the turn turn me into a zombie contest or whatever yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. Oh, oh yeah. The, yep. Totally spacing on who that is. Uh, I forget because they they said that they felt bad that she had to die. <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, we see an opening. How many bullets you have? Three. Three. Uh, they said uh, in the chat, they're saying her name is Bree. Bree. Bree like the cheese. Bree like the cheese. Hmm. <laughs> sounds quite good. <laughs> now I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, wow, there's, there's a joke in there someplace. <laughs> Something about eating Bree. <laughs> Uh, oh, and there it is. <laughs> oh, there are a lot of zombies for this uh, point and click. All right. Well, get on it. After like two oh, seconds, oh, it pretty much was like making me up. let all my little player characters take the shot for me. Go! Uh, yes, Lime says Bree Rosenholm was the one who won the contest. Oh, congratulations. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool they did that. And yeah, JDRF says, I think it was for her likeness as well. That could have gone better. Right. Everyone okay? Yeah, I remember that. Um, that going Shit. around. Okay. Let's get out All of those years room. ago. <laughs> what, Kid's right. We almost gotta keep eight moving. years ago? It's Think there's insane. any chance we get Clem and catch up to those I, goddamn thieves? I feel so bad that I didn't play The Maybe. Walking Dead when it came out. Because, I mean, I played, like, no I, played, good field. I played the same and Max <laughs> games when they came out. I played Back to the Future. I um, nice. but I, I was obsessed with those fandoms. Like I was obsessed with those shows and games and movies and stuff. Um, and I just didn't really have any connection to The Walking Dead when I was younger. So, um, but this this game certainly has changed my perspective of it for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's. I mean. It's gotta be it's, way. It, there's a reason why it won over a hundred Game of the Year awards. I mean, it, it, it's we wait for the house it's to clear just out, it's golden. And, it's, it's and, we, and we got to go to London because That's we were right. both nominated for BAFTAs, That's the right. British Academy of Film and Television Arts. <laughs> are you a member of BAFTA? Uh, we both are. Yeah. Once you're nominated, you're a member. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's the membership fees. <laughs> Oh yeah, well there is that. What does that mean? Um, I, I haven't been keeping up with my dues, so I just... yeah, I know, right? Someone was asked. Someone asked. Um, Yet. Yeah. Uh, you guys just recorded the voice lines, and then the facial performance was contextualized and created by the animators. But if you were given the chance to do the facial do performance for these characters, would you have done it? The whole point. Uh, sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Totally. Yeah, and, I mean, and we actually do that for a lot of games. I don't know. Yeah, again, this okay. game also, this was a little, you know, Telltale Games was an independent game company uh, with not like the said, budget for uh, such, out, it's, you know, AAA We're game companies uh, really, it, it costs a lot of money to get to rent out a performance capture stage for the day. Yeah, to do the mocap and yeah, it, motion um, capture. So... If, Look, but yes, I, I mean, here. motion that? capture is a, a really cool marriage Explain of to getting to be a voice actor be and on camera. Right um, but still, you know, practice. you still don't that necessarily have to exactly I look like the character, although now they are starting to... Well, you can look like the character or not. They're even exactly. shooting movies now on mocap. And um, some of the mocap I've done, you're on the set now doing your thing, and you can see on the screen the 
character or the creature that you are. I mean, you could be uh, running around uh, in in the suit as yourself, saying your lines, and then look up. Oh, I'm a velociraptor. Yeah, I did. I did some uh, performance capture, motion capture, um, and uh, lo and behold, believe it or not, I actually played a child. Uh, yeah. <laughs> A demo thing for Oculus, but it was a lot of fun. But yeah, I mean, it, it's it's. I would totally do that. Yeah. You ruined that dude's face. I just shut up. Scott. Uh, right now we're talking about, um, basically putting Lee down like a dog because they're terrified of him turning into a Larry What's situation. What's on the other side of this wall? Yeah. Um, drop. which is and after everything Lee did for them, door. right? Like Kenny. Has forgotten a lot that Lee has done. <laughs> shit. Is this really well, Kenny just, you know, he's had a real hard time. I lost my boy Duck. That's right. And my wife <laughs> Katya. Yeah. Katya. I love, yeah. I okay. loved Katya. We're working shifts. Yeah. I do. Sissy, and I. Jones. And Sissy Jones. Sissy Jones. We have to work fast. And Sissy Jones, who is one of the premier voice actresses in video games now, this was her first video game. Very first. Her first wow. voiceover job, I think. Oh my goodness. I think it was actually her first booking as a voice actress. Yeah. Man, man. She's a talented lass, that one. That, that one she is. An amazing yeah, She's a talented <laughs> lass. <laughs> Would have been easy not to. She's after me lucky charms. Uh, wanted, might, wanted snow. Thank you so much for subscribing, which only affects me. But thank you, I appreciate it. Oh, <laughs> uh, actually, I pulled away from the donations. No more donations, but that's fine. Um, don't forget, guys. Uh, if you type in exclamation mark donate, you can donate to JDRF, the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, to help fight type one diabetes. Uh, they are the lead researchers finding a cure. Unfortunately, <laughs> with the world being in a pandemic right now, it's affecting everyone, and it's, you know, definitely affecting those with type 1 diabetes. Um, the cost of insulin is ridiculous, and I, and I myself, you know, don't have to deal with that, thankfully, but um, I still have plenty of friends, a lot of friends I met through Blake, that unfortunately have to deal with that on a daily basis. Um, so any money y'all have to donate goes to a great cause. Uh, so just keep that in mind. We but yeah. Time. That's the focus. And how um, so I, I oh yeah, I'm, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was gonna say free. Stop sure. asking them who's the favorite mod. <laughs> <laughs> who's the favorite moderator? And uh, um, Mick, Mick Spicy Dan just asked that name right there is amazing. Um, that Slick Rick. Uh, Melissa, did you know? In one of the Walking Dead games, it shows Clem after season four with barbed wire crutches. After? What? I don't know. I'm I'm <laughs> No, I didn't know that. But which Walking Dead game? Mix spicy Dan. Oh. I'm confused. I want Kenny to look after. Yeah. Stop it. I think someone would have told me about that. You hear me? You sure um. You didn't see him. Maybe if I put on my headphones, I'll be able to hear your audio of the game. Yeah, I feel bad. Uh, it's okay. No, don't feel bad. I need to just. I need I'm to just shut guess. up. <laughs> you look good over it, Melissa. Sure. You don't Again, it's that neurotic know. audio thing. You want me to do it? <laughs> nah, honey, it's not you. you. It's my problem. If y'all, if y'all both wanna just listen to the stream audio, I, I will be happy to talk Shouldn't to y'all with a thirty-second lag. <laughs> Oh no, God no, no. Oh, that would be no. crazy. <laughs> yeah. That would be. Oh, uh, I can handle it. In pain that is. Figure I'm it out. It um I mean, unfortunately the lag can worked. change depending on your distance from the person streaming. It can change based on uh, how good my internet is or if there's like a storm going on, which with all the uh hurricane stuff <laughs> happening in the states yeah. near me there's been a lot of bad storms around here uh so i wouldn't be surprised yeah. if that's affecting it too oh man oh boy yeah yeah we've already had a lot oh, of the hell the storm. Yeah. what the heck are we gonna do with 2020 I I, we can't right? wait to 2021 like there's no letting up <laughs> it'll be 
Yeah. You know, it was so bad that the murder hornets turned around and left. <laughs> They're like, yeah, you know, we're we're just, anyway, yeah, I don't know I where we're going, but we're not. I, I think we'd be overkilled, <laughs> and maybe they'd get us. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to touch this with a 40-foot pole. <laughs> yeah. Social distance, everything. Oh, somebody asked me a question. It wanted to know, wanted... Uh, so, oh, so, Al, Dave, did you know since the beginning how Lee's story was about to end? No. I didn't find out. Uh, I think it was in the, uh, episode three mm -hmm. that I found out they were, you know, and the writer came in. Hey, by the way, Dave, <laughs> uh, just a little news you might want to take in, process. You know, and the... We didn't know. I mean, going into each session was kind of like, eh, what's going to happen? You know, and with Telltale Games and, and their algorithm and how you make those choices and it shows you at the end of each episode, like 60% of people chose to, you know, I don't know, save Duck or I don't know, you can't save Duck. Anyways, it was a bad example. <laughs> but they, the writers would tweak the storyline as as they go. And uh, I mean, I think the re the fact that people glommed on to wanting to protect Clementine and that relationship uh, was actually a little bit shocking to the writers. They had no intention of continuing this, her story, at least. Yeah. Um, and, so, and you know, much, much as I would have liked to have gone and been the playable character mm -hmm. for the next three seasons. I know. Um, uh. You know, that this game would not have been the game it was had they not uh, killed Lee off. I mean, oh, that God. scene. Oh, am I giving stuff away? No, you're. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, that's I. We have had more comments, uh, Melissa and I, about that scene when we're at conventions than anything else. Yeah, the truly, it was so impactful. Um, oh, the game is the Road to Survival. Okay, so that's like, uh, I know the game, and that's just, I, I think Lee's character is in that as well. I think it's just more of being an avatar. Mm -hmm. So I did not know that there was a, spoiler me. alert, go. Clementine on barbed wire crutches <laughs> from <laughs> after so season four. Um, I did not know that. Check that What's out. The, uh, M. Rudnick question, what does it mean for a voice you. actor to be hired for what ends up being more than just a standard character, but turns into an iconic, legendary character? It's it's a dream come true. No, mm -hmm. It's pretty precious. Um, yeah, it, it, it's a fantastic feeling. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just I, I want to end it. I'm it's sorry. Uh, JDRF pointed out, out to me that this is you the, the folks Easter egg about. room. Uh, I want to say, is it the Let's Randy Tudor Easter egg? That little girl. Is that right? I know. Well, uh, I'm trying to remember if this God, is the episode with the Randy Tudor. Uh, pair, uh, JDRF That's seems to think uh, this is the room. <sighs> Figure out where we're uh, Do you know how to get to the Easter egg? No. <laughs> Do you know the, the beta I on think, that? Because I don't. I think someone mentioned clicking on a chair numerous times or maybe that was okay. a different easter egg in a different season uh anybody out there Peter, if you want to help oh, me oh talk to kenny repeatedly when he's messing with the lamp okay someone's at the statue great wait. talk to kenny yep, right now don't ask me how I'm oh yeah doing. click kenny everybody's Let's saying talk going. to kenny thanks everyone don't ask me for knowing more about Let's the game going. than it's been a long time. It's been a long time. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep. Going. I would never, in a million years, ask him more than once. Randy Tudor, good man. No, I know it's amazing when people find Easter eggs on their own. One of the greats. That's amazing. Uh, I, I know y'all have a lag, but it's about to happen. <laughs> Randy Don't Tudor, ask me how great I'm doing. Stash. Let's, Let's just keep going. Uh, let's see. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. <laughs> good man. Damn Don't ask me how man. I'm doing. Let's just keep going. <laughs> Don't ask me how I'm doing. Randy let's Tudor has been with Telltale 
was with Telltale from all, basically almost the beginning, and he is I one of the kindest me. human beings on the face of the planet, and he does have an amazing mustache. I'll just, I'll just say that. Ah, uh, yes, the uh, developer inside jokes. Mm-hmm. So great. What do you call this thing? I would have never thought to click on him more than once. Because, like, I, oh, I click on characters more than once to get different lines of dialogue. So the second he says the same line, then it's like, okay. Like, you know, that's the end of that. Um, but, oh, yeah, for sure. So I would have never found that in a million years. <laughs> so I wonder if somebody's going to find that that uh, that Easter egg that you can click on and, you know, save Lee. Oh. <laughs> Looks like we can stay off the, the streets all the, the way the to the secret ending for careful. Season one. Let's go. That nobody's found yet. Yeah. I. <laughs> Even the developers <laughs> haven't found it yet. <laughs> uh, well, I got so many texts and messages uh, trying to explain how Lee could come back. <laughs> yeah. Probably not. Just the oh, denial sure. phase. <laughs> oh, well, man. You know, the confusing thing is, though, is I don't know about in the comics, and I feel very sad to not know this, but uh, Herschel in the show, he gets his leg lobbed off after getting bit about the same That's amount of time cool. as yeah. what Lee went through, and he lives. He lives. Yet, yeah. So I, too, am frustrated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they let the white man live, man. The brother, he, got, man, he cut his arm off. He can't live. He can't live. Oh, I mean, off. just saying. The life matters. Right. <laughs> I got a lot Too soon? Poor Lee. Oh, I mean, it's still 2020. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll get out of it. We're coming for him. There'll be, uh, yeah. right. there'll be another, uh, I don't know. There'll always be something else. 20 or 30,000 people who won't now, but uh, we will, right? <laughs> uh, he deserved better. Uh, I agree, Mac. Yep. <laughs> um, Slick Rick is asking, have you guys seen the edited video by Sean Ainsworth of The Gauntlet? Yes. Hilarious. Uh, I, I, I think if not. it's the video, oh. When Telltale Games sadly, heartbreakingly closed its doors, Twitter became basically the space of ex Telltale employees uh, releasing the most amazing, like basically videos that they'd make. Ooh. Not out of boredom because they were, you Rivers know, working their asses ahead. off, but <laughs> just funny videos. I'll try to find it, Dave, nope. and I'll, I'll see if I can Mom, send it to you. Oh, cool. I appreciate that. There's I'd the one that much. Lee like grows up, where he just becomes a giant and shoots laser beams out of his eyes. <laughs> you know, I, don't I don't know who created that one. I, I, almost, I don't think it was Dennis stuff. Leonard, I, but I was, you know, I'll, I'll try to find all those to send to you. That's so great. Mm -hmm. well, I'm so sorry. I mean, yeah. Ooh. Uh, uh, lost the uh, walkie-talkie. That's our lifeline tool. Uh, we can find this guy without it. And he just and what if we don't? knocked the walkie knocked it out of his hand. Yep. Lee's right. Kenny, I come on. So You're supposed to be my boy. Sorry. Come on. He's fine. Kenny. He's just... I love the, I want to say, I love the scene with Kenny no, where he basically asks Lee if Lee knows how Christa. to pickpocket the lock oh, to yes. the door. <laughs> it's got some line of like. It's our racial yeah. moment. Yeah. Oh, totally. Some line yeah, of you're like, urban. you're urban. Find yeah. <laughs> And even Lee's like, what the <laughs> hell, man? <laughs> like, yeah, know, like, Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. I thought you were better than that. <laughs> uh, Kenny. Uh, I, um, yeah, I kind of had to shake my head at Kenny, because I, um, unfortunately, I, I was like, ah, Kenny. <laughs> like. Yeah. Just. He, he was fulfilling a, a stereotype. Yeah, he had to. You know. Yep. He couldn't help himself. He was trying to be delicate. He was trying to. Yeah. Uh, um. I, I I'll be right back. I'm going down the hall. Don't go away. Yes. Okay. I'm actually going to do the same. I'm gonna. 
but my Archie we'll is Good. great for them. Thanks. Oh, bye, Archie. Good night, Woof Woof. Archie. Come on, Bobby. I think Sean Finney did the. Oh, it was, it was Sean Finney, wasn't it? Uh, a nice correction of the spelling of Sean. I'm sure he would appreciate that. Love him. Oh, so many people. So grateful. Sorry, I'm just making comments on. Um, so I met so many amazing people through my experience on Telltale Games, and I have to say. Uh, I've never become more close like family with a game company and the people who work there ever um, in my life. Such an amazing place. So grateful. A hilarious bunch of people at that. I'm literally just, I'm, I'm just going to continue talking. Oh, I'm back. He's back. That's okay. I was trying to. And my eyeballs are no longer floating. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just That's okay. left and came back at a terrible time because she had been hanging for yeah, I don't know hello. how long. <laughs> you know, I, I started to just leave her out there hanging, but I, I said, no. Nah, yeah. <laughs> that is a wonderful display of strength happening on screen, Tensei Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. She might be a rock climber. Uh, and, She's gonna, they're in there. And Lee just, like Tommy Caldwell this. Oh, and I, I want to I have to point out that Fuck. Every here, time I've had Lee jump. jump for Kenny's arms, Kenny has <laughs> dropped Lee on his butt. In my fucking mouth. Um, Boy. So I almost thought Lee would kind of do the same are thing. Doing? Her, oh, Kenny, Kenny! No! I'm so sorry. That I know there's lag, but uh, now. Come on, reach. I got you, hun. Is Save he? Her. I mean, you you me? Me? do what now? I was thanking Cerebus Hellgate. And then um, for Kenny, oh, is this gonna oh. be? Is good? Is this gonna be the? Um... I'm not Jump saying. Here, oh, crap. Grab you. Well, I know Kenny survives because literally people talk about him in season two. But well, I should hope he survives. I'm not saying. <laughs> Cerebus. Cerberus Hellgate, I love you too. Thank you for your kind words, oh. my friend. Really means no. a lot to me. Sorry, I didn't want to talk over Caleb. <laughs> I'm doing a heart symbol. Uh, yeah, I'm not saying anything. You're just, you're just gonna have to play season two uh, of Telltale Games: The Walking Dead. Don't do that to me. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, if you really want to know after the stream, I'll, like, know. I'll give you the rundown. But <laughs> down there, Steely. He could be on the run. All right, now I'm stepping away for a moment. My turn. Be <laughs> I'll be back. Be okay. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my god, they killed Kenny! You bastard! <laughs> <laughs> Wrong show! <Right. laughs> yep. Of course, it had to be Kenny. Dang it, I like Kenny. You know what? If you don't see him die, no. You can't be sure. Yep. Guarantees. I love how the camera just had to go back and focus on. Uh, on that open hole in the roof. Yeah. Make you ponder about it for a minute. Well, and you know, it's if, I mean, he's, I, it's, it's really Kenny's fault. He's down there. He's the one that knocked the, 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 the thing out of the, the walkie talkie okay? out of Lee's hand. Do you want to talk? He, he should have been more careful. And uh, welcome, Clementine. As soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to. <laughs> and uh, somebody's mentioning Telltale is back. Uh, it's not the same Telltale. Somebody bought it. I understand. Uh, oh, yeah. But they're so back to producing know. The Wolf Among Us. Sure we and um, uh, I hope they'll bring me back as Bluebeard. Clementine, <laughs> I know Kenny was your guy. I want to say I'm super excited about the newly announced Sam and Max VR game. Uh, that is not Telltale, oh, well. but 
It's being made by a developer group called Happy Giant, I believe. But they did mm -hmm. get the great. Telltale voice actors for Sam and Max. Sick. And they got you know some that. of the people from LucasArts who worked on uh, Hit the Road to help with the yeah. writing. So it should be pretty good. What's going on? Excited. You know what? One of the I best things... Well, wait, that's, no, that's not the way to start that sentence. Right. It was a travesty was that Telltale trouble. went away. It was very sad. Sure. But the... Uh, the, the silver lining in that cloud like is that so much telltale dna has spread out throughout the video game industry of of writers and developers and programmers and animators um telltale had something very special and uh to get people out there that had a little piece of it uh to bring to other game companies is is making the whole industry better you're the lightest on I'll follow right after you. And I, I just, it's, it's the mindset of like, you know, um, Sonic the Hedgehog, like, um, a lot of people love that character. And for a long time, you could only you play said? Sonic on I'll Sega come. consoles, but it took, yeah. it took Sega basically dying as a console what company for the character to really thrive in all these different video games across all these different consoles. So, um... It's certainly sad when something like that happens, but also it's really nice when people are able to Krista, take it and continue next. to run with it. Um, almost removes a few, you know, it doesn't always, but sometimes it removes the limitations that the characters might have had. Um, yeah. Maybe due to budget, yeah. you know, that sort of thing. Shit. Okay, that's... Uh, and may I just say, since you were bringing it up, shake up! <laughs> <laughs> I was in an early Sonic. Uh, the the actor who played Sonic before Roger. What are you Craig gonna do? Smith. Uh, I'm having dementia issues. I'm so sorry. I'm forgetting his name. I'll figure something out. Long time out. ago, but it was There's a pretty ton of fun franchise to be a part of. Yeah. Uh. Can you help me? I don't know what it's we can do from here. It's one of those fandom slash franchises Anything. where. There's just a lot going on there. <laughs> I'm going for it. Yeah. Going for yeah. it? What does uh, that mean? Not all good. It means I'm already uh, right. Not all I terrible. Push my but, way you right. know. What the fuck? Yep. Got a lot of mixed stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, Let's meet outside of town. I said meet outside train. of town Are by the train. Nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Ugh. Yeah, by the train. Jesus. Hopefully. We'll be there. I guess we're going to the train now. If he survives uh, this. <laughs> uh. I don't know. I am not hundred percent. I know. Aren't you? Don't you love how we're both helping yeah, you so much? Yeah, are giving me so much information to go off of. Definitely. What? Not in the what? <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Well, I just refreshed. I just actually put Twitch up on my computer, and I think I might be a little closer to where you're at. Yeah, uh, one of my mods, in the game. one of my mods, Cincy Dragon, said that he has about a six-second lag the whole time. So, unfortunately, it really sometimes depends on. I think I'm closer to you though. That's good. <laughs> okay, so we're about to get into. Uh, oh yeah. Zombie chopping action. Wielding axe, chop, chop, chop. Oh, crap. Okay, cool. I'm still alive right now. Good, that's good. <laughs> oh. Yes, yeah, staying alive is good. <laughs> the animation is so cool with this, just also because, um, I mean, and just seeing Lee just start to kind of. Oh, he's just. Get a little, uh... Oodles, huh? <laughs> chop, chop. And it's, it's it's not necessarily that he's done with it all, but he is just like, right. this is my only option. Here I go. Dang! Let's chop that dude's head in half. Sorry, that's nuts. <laughs> well, it's a zombie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Zombies don't like you. Well, we don't know that. Have we ever, you know, talked to a zombie? You know? If Who understands what this... What are, what are they really going through, man? 
Maybe, maybe we should just, you know, get to know the zombies. Find out what's... Why do you want to eat brains? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're not they're not the smart zombies just quite yet. <laughs> the sentient zombies. Mm -hmm. I'm zombies. Uh, nobody like me. I I can't help I like brains. <laughs> <laughs> Must eat brains. Ooh. Yeah, there's a there's a I say old <laughs> as an in internet old, but there's an old song about um about zombies and the chorus is basically all we want to do is eat some brains we're not unreasonable i mean no one's going to eat your eyes you know trying to like <laughs> like like oh we're just trying to survive like you you know <laughs> like we just just hungry for brains uh, yeah it's kind of like how you feel about the great white shark all he wants to do is eat a seal and you just happen to be there right yes and they actually typically don't eat humans they'll They'll bite and go, oh, that's a human. I'm so sorry. Yeah. But by then, of course, it's too late. I am terribly sorry. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. I don't want you to die. You are not a porpoise, like I, I initially assumed. <laughs> <laughs> yep. By then, the bloodlust kind of... Yeah. Oh, are we about to meet uh, uh, what? Crazy McCrazy Pants? What's about to happen? Um, I don't know. Uh, you told me? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I know. I told you, then I realized you haven't played it, so I need to... <laughs> Yeah, this oh is crazy the crazy pants. Yeah. Uh... Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. Oh, hi. This is Sybil. Where is she? You look horrible. <laughs> I said hello, and he's like, this and is... you're missing an arm. <laughs> Go over there. So... I mean, this is like the hotel the parents were staying at, apparently. Right? Uh, wow. I guess maybe. That's what Clem said over the walkie, but I wasn't sure. Oh, that's right. God, again, you'd think Man, I didn't remember any of this. So <laughs> I, I, I didn't mean to out you, Melissa, that, oh, yeah, that, that you said that previously, but oh, it, was, it was a little while ago. There. <laughs> What's wrong with it? I'm just, I just blame it all on the pandemic. Yeah, it's well. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's Discord. See, I forgot who I was supposed to blame it on. It's. I'm just gonna go ahead and blame that on Discord. <laughs> Thank you, Clementine, for following. <laughs> Good. Put your cow. Oh, oh, sit down. So I, I just put. Clementine. I just emptied my inventory onto the table. So uh, now we're gonna talk to Crazy Pants with his bowling ball. Do you know who I am. Mick crazy pants. Uh, Mick crazy. To you. No. <laughs> That's Doctor Mister Professor Patrick. You to you. People mm -hmm. like you don't. Now you. I have no idea who. The... Who would have it out for me? Huh. Um. Yep. Yeah. Well. I, rem I remember. Keep on playing. Oh, yeah. Keep on playing. Oh man, this this guy had the station wagon. Hmm. That, so someone pointed out to me that that station wagon, and I I recognize yep. it, is the same. Clementine will remember that. The same exact station wagon. Mm -hmm. Possibly, possibly. I'm just a dad. And he's just a he's just a broken dude. I mean, was it good that me and Clem didn't want anything to do with it? Your people. Didn't... Oh, that's how you chose. You you chose yeah. to not. Okay, we me and okay. Clem did. We we chose to not. Um, take from the car. Got it. Um, I'm gonna say it. I can't right. honestly say We're that that stopped. affects what happens here, but right. <laughs> Look, but what do you want me to say? At least he knows that we're good people, even though he's mad at our at our people. You to know yes. What What's in the bag? What What's in the bag, Vernon? <laughs> We need, yeah, we need Brad Pitt to yeah. walk in the room here. Right. If someone could get him on the horn, that'd be, that'd be perfect. Oh, let me just, well, he is from Springfield, Missouri, just like me. Oh. You'd think we all know each other. I know, right? <laughs> you don't know Brad? <laughs> I mean, we, 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 we run in similar circles, well, but we I haven't mean, met yet. <laughs> I think Justin Timberlake has a place in Memphis, but I don't. There, oh, you, know, you haven't met him yet? I mean, I, I, you know. Just acquaintances, yeah. really. 
Right, right. Wouldn't go as far as friends, <laughs> but <laughs> friendly acquaintance. Yeah. Boy. Uh, he doesn't know that, yeah, but I, I like to. Hurt her. <laughs> so bad. So yeah, I really do want to know what's in the back. <laughs> and all our stuff was gone. But will you ever find out what's in the bag? So, I mean, he... Stupid fucking wife. I'm shocked that he... I could have earned her trust back if they you... had a It was us. I mean, that he, like, followed us to such a degree that he was able to determine... We were the ones that did this. Sorry. The hungrier we got, the more... It is pretty impressive. Right. Left. Thank you. Um, the about twenty four seven. Uh, 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 to say hello to her Aww, dad. Oh, cute. But she didn't say what her dad's name. Well, is. hi, dad. <laughs> um, I think you know that's real. Uh, thank you, Lime Angel, for. I think you just said it went away. The message went away. There it is. Um, there it is. When you were ten years old, you played this game and you got him into so it, boring. and that is one of the coolest things ever. His so, name is Jeff, by the way, Lime Chip. Angel. You Hi, Chip. Hey, Chip, what's up, man? I'm waving, even though you can't see me. That's how ridiculous this is. <laughs> well, I'm not waving, but I am saying hello. <laughs> I was trying to find someplace safe for her. It's really cool to hear how many um, woman. people bond. And yeah, I, I how lot many families of, you know, bond? Mother, there. Child, father, daughter, kids, parents, sisters, brothers. A lot of people play this game together. It's pretty cool. Yeah. That's not the whole story. I, and it's, the whole it's, so, story? it's so funny because, like, I'm not, I'm not a dad, but, like, I've always wanted to be one, and I've always wanted to have mm. a little girl. Um, and, and if it were up to my wife, we would have six kids, you know? So, like, right. or, or eight or however many. So, um, you know, probably going to happen at some point in time. But because of that, I still was able to connect with Lee You're just from the fact that I have... You're a niece that I love very much, you know, and mm -hmm. nephews, and oh, yeah. it's not the same thing, but it's so cool how just so many people were able to connect with Lee. Oh, yeah. Just because be whether you saw him as, like, that big brother type or that father type, you know, just looking out for Clem. Like, a lot of people really connected with him. That was really for sure. Video. Yeah, the writers I just, I mean, I was just coming. nailed it. Completely nailed the oh, season. Yeah. Oh yeah. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger. Sean Vanneman, Jake Rodkin, by the way, were the main. Bravo leaders. to them both. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care. I'm of trying my best to. You can have a family. Be cool. I be calm. Yes, and know pay attention to what is. Crazy's saying because he he's saying that. She's nine. He can, he can take care of her. Six days ago. Yeah, he wants a new family. I know how to be a dad, you know. Oh, oh look. She wouldn't be. You know who we forgot to mention? Julian Kwasniewski. Oh yes. Who directed? My director, my director. Oh boy. Our director, but I was. Just, he, you know, he directed the hell out of this. The voice director, Julian Kwasniewski. Yeah. Yes. Um. Amazing, and uh, all part of the Bay Area Sound. Jared Emerson Johnson, who did the soundtrack, the amazing yeah. soundtrack. It was the three J's: Jared, Jory, and um, although Jory wasn't technically with Bay Area I Sound, see. but they all were. Ex Worked together, Lucas. Yeah. Yeah, we recorded at uh, Jory Studio, Studio mm -hmm. Jory, who he's mm -hmm. no longer with us. Motorcycle accident took him out, but and yeah. he, he missed. He was just the nicest. A guy. gem of a human just being. A we should have had to get this bad, yep. but it's all over, hon. Oy. I hate that. Just about. Um, I hate mm -hmm. seeing you like this. Is uh. I just miss your smile, honey. Picking oh. up on his wife by I talking to so yep. bowling Tess. bag. Oh, Clem! Like By checking on <laughs> Well, she's what's in the bag, huh? Like, I hate to see like. Honey? I hate to see you like this, but I, I love your smile. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh God. Oh, okay. Oh. This is a moment. Yep, that's right. See? She can be back. Boom! Oh. 
Thank you, Clem. Is taught her well. And also thank you for the twenty dollar donation, Anonymous. Oh. Yes, Anonymous twenty. And yes, Julian does rock. I'm assuming that's Emily. I already assume. I knew that. You told me you'd be yes. the one. Emily's always <laughs> Hi, Emily. Yes. I'm a little slow on the uptake. <laughs> Uh, I'm not trying to- I don't want to choke out McCrazy, but this is what's happening right now. Oh, Lee is so badass, even with one arm, if I do say so right. myself. Mm -hmm. I was already impressed enough that he somehow- the game didn't really show us, but he somehow managed to uh, extend that ladder to its uh, fullest extent. I've done that with two arms, and that is not a fun, uh, no. not a fun thing to do with a heavy-duty ladder like that. Um, nope. So for him to do it with the one arm was quite crazy. Okay, so now I can either shoot him in the head or not, and I guess not. He, because I don't want it to be in... It's okay, sweet pea. Hey, the Willow Wolf is about to leave us. Good night, Willow Wolf. Good night, we'll when, Willow Wolf. We'll see you when, you come, when we come to Ireland. Uh, All the way yes, from Ireland. Please. That's so cool. Yes, okay. Much love to you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. For being here. Yeah, thank you for stopping by. Okay, so we didn't shoot the crazy. Why? That's so scary. Because no. we're not like that at an accident. I've been. Did you say yet? <laughs> I said yep. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of true, but. Uh, I've been pretty. I've been pretty pacifist. Pretty, you know, helpful this run, like any run that I do. But um. Did he hurt you? No. Poor Clem is very upset about Lee's I'm arm. Sorry, Lee. Jesus. Okay. Oh, man. I just, somebody just reported it. Chadwick Boseman has no. Everything's okay. No, stop. I kid you not. That can't be real. Chadwick Boseman, Black Panther actor, dies of cancer at 43. No way. Unbelievable. That's insane. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. Died in his home in Los Angeles area with his wife and family by his side. Oh. Yeah. God. 2020. Really? Uh, wow. <laughs> I can't even believe it. Woo. That's crazy. I want my money back on 2020. I, I, yeah. Oh, that's crazy. I horrible. want to return this year. It's defective. I remember so many people crazy. in 2019 uh, thinking how much better 2020 was going to be. Um, what? Immediately downhill. I know. That's crazy. Well, I'm glad. I mean, uh, I'm glad he was able to just be with his family yeah, be in peace and not a media spectacle for that time. I had no idea he was sick. Right. Man. Mm, mm, mm. I thought I thought when someone said that I didn't I was like oh that's a weird yeah, yeah. Uh, somebody said, like why I would you a, say that in this chat that doesn't look yeah good. yeah but and, uh, and it made me go wait a minute that's so random it's yeah too true. random let me look it up and I looked and there it was oh man 43 that's a year younger than me oh my god uh, that's crazy I am I, I know um obviously that's way more important than this game but yeah the zombies i i noticed that the zombies have lost interest in the entirely at this point oh yeah no he yeah that's, he's uh first of all that's crazy because that implies that zombies have an awareness of when someone is turning uh or near their deathbed, or I don't know what the what the cutoff would be there. Um, but I guess once your blood starts to yeah coagulate, yeah, <laughs> starts to once the once the whatever it is that turns you into a walker. Um, um. Oh, and this is the very first that we're seeing of like, hey, here's how we're gonna walk through a crowd of uh, dead folk. Oh. oh, that's gross, but smart. Next, Spicy Dan says, I would go insane if either Dave or Melissa got sick. Stay oh, safe. Oh, God. Well, that... 
and and yeah. everybody stay safe. Wear your yeah. mask. Keep your yeah. distance. Um, be smart. And just also live every day to the fullest, regardless of all the crazy wackadoo that's going on out there. It's all a, you know, a it's, precious reminder to be grateful every day. If we could all just live by that simple golden rule, treat people the way you want to be treated. Yes. Exactly. Are you done? Definitely. But thank you. That was very sweet of yes. you to say. So right now we are um, rubbing... Rubbing guts. Yep. The intestine, guts, this was, blood. There. This was uh, a fun... I mean, not fun. This was a great scene, but it was kind of cool because it was doing that... Uh, those little sounds that she makes, which I can't necessarily hear right now, but just, uh, again, with Julian as our director, you know, oh you. we make so many of these, like, emotes, and then they pick through and choose what they're going to use, but... right. It was pretty fun being disgusted wow. by the thought of zombie yeah. guts on being rubbed. Hey, let me rub some zombie guts on. Yeah, I'm like, oh, God. You, know, <laughs> you just got pranked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. All right. And, I mean, that's clever. I never really thought about... I mean, I, I thought about the zombies' sense of smell and the zombies', you know, limited sight and whatnot. But, mm. especially since oh. smell and... Hearing is like mainly what zombies tend to go off of. Right, right. But I never thought about it like, A, someone turning would be less of a um, distractor, and B, being able to like mask your with a zombie. Right. Like it being a big. Which is, I mean, it makes sense because zombies don't attack other zombies. Um, right. At least in The Walking Dead. Um, not like. They don't have any interest in uh, eating dead people. Well, unless it's uh, Crip zombies and, and, and blood zombies. Uh -huh. Oh, this little scene is heartbreaking when they're walking through. Yeah. And then, I again, I won't say because I don't know when it happens, but there's a heartbreaking yeah. moment in this. Yeah, um, oh. Oh. That Poor little baby. It's coming up. Yeah, that's just like, ugh. That, that her that's, mom? That's parents, yeah. That's mom and dad. Oh, no. And Lee is not doing good anyway. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Oop. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's crazy. Yep, right around this area. I mean... Makes sense that it's just, um... um and Dusty Burrito 150, I agree. Jared just again ugh, he's such a beautiful human being and that just resonates in his music and what he did for this soundtrack, all the soundtracks he worked on for Telltale. So true, so true, so true. You know what this makes I'm gonna get in touch with Jared and <laughs> Julian and <laughs> yes, I, I just had this like thought of like, can we all just hang out? <laughs> God damn it! I just want that day. I just want that day. Before we all couldn't go anywhere, I was going uh, to the and uh, 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 to get out of here. So at Samantha Paris's place, a couple times a year, mm. and I would always go to Fairfax get some no, coffee. No, that's crazy. Yep. And uh, didn't safe. always get to see him, but say. I'd always call Julian and say hello. I can't. Well, occasionally get a cup of coffee with him. As soon as we can make that magic happen, let's do it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It was you. only a little open when I found it. I closed it. Oh, Lee. Poor Lee. I mean, he is oh. not three. doing good. One. Yeah. Two, three. It's. And he is, you know, I mean, he's got to get Clementine out of here. Oh yeah. Goodness. See? Clementine, honey. Emotional person, oh, I'm crying, not because I cut it off. Do your thing, you man. <laughs> I've literally seen this episode. Uh, I mean, Dave and I alone no. together have seen this episode no, probably yes. 50 it, it, times, and it's it still. It's to me every time. Yeah, it's still. Gonna be okay. Trying to see if and the the thing we heard, Melissa, 
okay. more than anything else uh, that I'd never heard from a video game performance before was I've never, people would say, I've never been emotionally connected to video game characters before. And there. Clem and Lee made me cry. Mm hmm. Let's go. Yeah. I might be a little slow. We were at a convention and you just opened, it was a Dragon Con. Yeah. That you were you weren't even in the Lee character and you were someone was talking to me but you started talking next to me to someone else and this young man just started crying hearing you. your voice you can lean on me. he you literally stood there and he just he was he kind of put his hands over his mouth and was like oh my god oh my god oh my god and just started crying and I was like holy shit yeah I mean that's super effective this yeah. episode yeah. Um, video games are art. I agree, Freestyle Absolutely. the Gamer. Like, be, oh my God, and so much hard work goes into making them on so many levels. And, and it's such a team. It's such a big team. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so many people involved in so many areas. It's like making movies. You know, you've got your writers, you've got your cinematographers, you, you've got your crew that... Uh, makes the scenes and sets and moves everything and then the people who feed you, uh, all of that yeah <sighs> man you have uh, I'm to. so glad there's more of a better appreciation nowadays for different media for me of here. you know I mean like please, whether it's video games or cartoons you know people are understanding more and more that you know just because the visuals are different doesn't mean it can't tell a better story you know like uh if anything there's less limitations with fast. games or with these things because they have the ability to literally create it to be exactly the way they want it to look you know um well you know, you know uh rolling stone magazine said when season one came out that it was better than the tv show wow you can take that to the bank <laughs> yeah exactly i i mean that's awesome i and i've never seen the show so i've always been after playing this game i told myself i was like i'm probably gonna There's a base end up watching the show now because i'm so interested in the general lore i yeah i like the show i mean i'm you know i'm i've all i've i like the show from the beginning yeah I'm a so. uh, I'm a supernatural fan, and their dad on that show is vegan. You know, with the oh, Jim, with the, Dan does that. Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Yes. Uh, so, needless to say, there was a there's a little cutscene in Supernatural later season where you see the the characters Dean and Sam with a bat covered in barbed wire, and they make some line about Dad used to love this thing. Uh, and I was like, I get that line. <laughs> I haven't seen the show, but I, I do understand. Oh, Clem, she has to do everything. This, this, you know, this final, these final mo um, moments of this episode are just, and again, without fully knowing that they were going to continue on with a season two and with a, a Clem uh, as a playable character with. It's just the build up to basically this is the ultimate lessons that Lee has passed on to her. She's having to like go through and it's just heartbreaking. And oh, sorry, you heard my phone. Oh, good. Uh, and poor Lee. And only, only able to teach Clementine so much. Get them. Um, okay, Lee. Just kind of has to take on her own. Yeah. But did he teach her enough? That's what he needs to know. That he and he has to, because he can't teach anyone. Oh my gosh! Having to handcuff to the radiator. Put the handcuffs on me. Yeah. Attach me to uh, this. What? Why? I hate it. No matter what happens, mm -hmm. I'm safe then. 
I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Daniel's yeah, so... I don't, I don't want to well, do Blame you all for this. And this was... Well, I'll just... Yeah. I just, you know, I've always heard and that voice acting, the, the, the voices, the character's voice is the character, you know, like a character can change looks over the years, but if they have the same voice, that's how people are able to most widely recognize the character. Um, mm -hmm. and, um, I just, um, just get the boat. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm, 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 I'm kind of sucked into the scene. Now. <laughs> yeah, no, you do it. You do it. JDRF is pointing out um, that uh, the game started with Lee handcuffed. I never really. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah. I mean, get him I, I, in the police car. Grab it. And he had to get out of him. Watch out. And uh... the police and the policeman was a zombie. Yep. And or became a zombie. Uh-huh. Can't grab it because of my arm, I know that. Oh. Did it clown? <laughs> Get him! I think that was... Oh yeah, I see. Uh, yep. Yep. Oh my god, little Clem. She's so strong. My sweet summer child. I did it. Mm. I got him. Oh. I don't want to say come here because I'm trying. I mean, I. I... Hit him again. Yeah. Hit him again, Clem. <laughs> <One more time. laughs> Clem, you'd say you have a lot of brains on you, don't you? Ugh. <laughs> oh. Uh, looking good for Lee. You know, I got that hat hanging in my studio. Oh. Yeah, I saw it when you showed us your boot. What second? Um, strong, I love it. You, you can oh. do anything. But I'm little. Stay strong. I'm little. Go see oh my stuff. god. Yeah, as if your uh, Dave, as if your voice it's wasn't so soft loud. enough for Lee. I, can't I know you can't hear it, but right now it's just you. like a very quiet, very Please. somber. Please uh. don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. Uh. I don't know if I can. Does oh my God, does she? Oh my god. Um, Give me or leave me? What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> well, the, I'm not going to answer that. Yeah, you you got to make up your own mind, man. You can leave me. I don't know. Uh, it's okay. You'll be just like them. It's okay. It won't be me. You can do Please? it. I know you can. <laughs> it's time to go. You've got to get out of here. Uh, you, you can come with me. No, honey. I can't. It's okay. Uh, I'm so sorry, I'm being quiet. I'm... You have to go. No, dude, now. this is an important maybe, moment. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't let you turn. I don't want you to have to do it. Yeah, I didn't want to have to. Um. Oh, so you chose not to. Uh, well. Um. Shooting things. I'm saying shooting things so changes. Me. I don't want you to get mm. used to it. certainly didn't want her to think that she take couldn't trust care. them because I mean they are good people but at least and 
Oh. Keep that hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself. Great. Good. And also. Away from Lee. I love him, but step away. What? What is it? Yeah. I wasn't sure if we were going to see Lee turn or not. I still don't know. Ugh. I've never seen this ending. No. Believe it or not. I've only seen the ones where she chooses to shoot. Yeah, me so too. So thank you for your choice. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That was actually cool to see. Yeah. Well, credits are rolling. So I guess I didn't have to watch him turn, which was good. But that was awful. It was great. Mm -hmm. but it was awful. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Heartbreaking. <sighs> Heartbreaking. So good. I turned my camera back on. Yeah, I see the <laughs> the whoa. Yeah. Trophy earned. The Walking whoa. Dead. Thank you, game. My platinum trophy. Mm. Um. Oh, I. Uh. There. Mine on too. I'll um I'll read the I can go back to Dev's chat if it will work. I've somehow managed to change my shirt in that process. Yeah, thanks for choosing that ending. Um, I, yeah, you know, I haven't. Seen not that too ending. many people do. I wasn't <laughs> not saying it's good or bad. Right. But um, I was not sure what I was doing. So uh, you know, <laughs> I um. It says, uh, so the stats are removed Lee's arm. Uh, we and 62% of players did remove the arm. Um, so, I mean, the majority there. Um, did we lose temper with Kenny? Uh, us and 65% of players lost our temper with Kenny. That's majority as well. Um, did you give up your weapons to make crazy? Uh, <laughs> us... And 19% of players surrendered your weapons. So about, you know, 80%, 81% of people kept whatever weapon they had on them. Um, and then killed Clementine's captor. You and 34% of players killed the stranger. So we were actually in the minority there uh, for letting him live. Uh, and yes, I chat. I do see that there's an after credit scene. I'll I'll pull the uh, I'll pull the game back up uh, when I click continue. Um, stopped Lee from turning. You and 39 percent of players told Clementine to leave. Lee. So we were actually in the minority of. That's kind of yeah. Most people. That's so crazy. Most people. Uh, well, you know, I think she did the right thing. I, th I think the right choice was to shoot him. Yeah. I think the right thing was to to. In my, know that he hasn't turned that he died a human being yes in my mind like okay so when the when the motel scene happened and the woman is like i've been bit you know please like you know y'all gotta let me die like i don't want to be one of those things. i you know offered to help her 
without hesitation because I was like, yeah, like I, I wouldn't want to turn it into one of those things either. And in this scene, the only reason I told Clementine not to was for her sake. You know, obviously I didn't want her to have to, yeah. to shoot Lee. And I really want to see that scene now. I'm going to have to look it up because that has to be devastating. And it, right, like you said, it is the, for Lee and honestly for Clementine in the end, it would probably be the best choice as far as knowing in your head that he never had to suffer being a, a walker. Um, but... Yeah. It's it, it and there's no again, there's I mean, well, depending on who you're talking to and there's debates upon debates, but there's no upon right debates. or wrong upon debates, right or wrong choice. <laughs> um and that's kind of why I mean this uh I, I think it was in Norway. This game, this first season was like uh an, taught in a university uh psychology, a professor of psychology taught it had his students watch it and play it and uh, discuss uh, their choices. Their choices. Oh, yeah. um, I mean, it's, it's, yeah. Yeah. Powerful, powerful stuff. Dan used to teach ethics. That's <laughs> interesting to know, especially with a Telltale game like this. That makes sense. Did you? Oh my God. Uh, Dan, well, another person I can't yeah, wait to hang out with again. That. Yeah, that's crazy. Dan, I didn't cry. I did. Come find you. I did start to tear up. But you, you, I mean, I'm not saying you have to fork over fifty bucks. I'm just saying that, <laughs> that was the bet. But game. Well, by, by the way, Dan, not not to to bust in there, but if you used to teach ethics, could you start again? There's a whole lot of people out here in 2020 that need, it. That need to learn. <laughs> we need you. I don't know if y'all. Uh, have heard of or seen the sitcom um, The Good Place? Have you all heard of that? Oh, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I start, I've seen, I've seen it a couple two, of times. I haven't two, watched the whole thing. Right. The whole yeah. Well, the, the, the entire show, I've been watching a lot of episodes recently, okay. and every episode talks about different ethical dilemmas, you know, like the concept of do we send this person to the bad place over this person? Why should this person have any more rights to, in the good place than this person, you know, that sort of thing. Um, yeah. So I've been dealing with a lot of that recently, so to end it <laughs> with, you know, shoot your father figure or not, you know, I mean, like right. stuff like that. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. JDRF said, love the good place. Dan said, love the good place. It's a good show. Dan also said he did not teach ethics. <laughs> oh, so, oh, no, no, the, the game. game was used to teach ethics. See, this is where I just make shit up all the time. I'm like, yeah, it was a town in Norway. They taught like a uh, heart surgery yeah. via like. Dan was actually like, no, a I don't know professor what I'm talking of about, ethics ever. for 30 years. It was ethics yeah. before yeah. <laughs> working on this game. Right before starting Telltale Games. <laughs> Dan was known as a professor of psychology slash ethics. I'm going, yeah. um, y'all, <laughs> y'all feel free to keep talking. I'm switching over back to the game, um, visual. So we can see this okay. after credit scene that everyone okay. is asking about. Oh yes. I'm terrified. Oh, okay. Uh, so there are, um, more stats. Um, so with Ben, you defended Ben when he was accused of stealing. You voted to throw Ben out of the group, fortunately, and you dropped Ben from the bell tower. I did do that. Uh, wasn't proud of that moment, <laughs> but um, Harley died when the walkers attacked the drugstore. Um, I will say, my first playthrough, I saved Carly. I didn't save Doug. Um, but the chat threatened me if I didn't save Doug, so... Um, this playthrough I did. Uh, apparently he's based on, like, a real person. The game did. Uh, Ben? Uh, Doug is. Doug, sorry. Oh, Doug, right. Yes. Um, and then, um, forget her name. I always remember Omid, but I forget oh, his wife or love or 
You met her on the worst on your worst day thus far. You helped her get onto the train. You told her Anna Mid to meet you at the train. You told your bite to her. Uh Krista. Yeah, I believe that. Um mm -hmm. Doug, you were with him when you Krista. found your brother. You saved his life at the cost of another. He was shot while trying to protect you. Um and then with Duck, <laughs> saved his life at Herschel's farm. Argued that he was not bitten back in Macon. Uh, you shot him before he could turn, and you did let him be your sidekick to solve a mystery. <laughs> Good old duck wanting to be uh, Robin to my Batman. Of course. They really do give us stats for every character, don't they? Um, so with uh, Kenny, defended his son in the drugstore, talked him down from ignoring his son's fate, killed his son so he didn't have to, and he was lost to the herd trying to save Krista. Um, with Katya, you attempted to give her food at the motor inn. You found water for Duck when, she, when he needed it. And she shot herself when faced with her son's death. Um, yeah, well, I, I couldn't stop that. I mean, that was going to happen, I think. Is there is there a version where, she, where Katya doesn't shoot herself? No. I don't think so. Yeah, I, no. I'm pretty. Po I mean, both times I played, that played out. So, um, and then uh, <laughs> with oh, what's his name? The big lug that we dropped a salt lick. On. Larry. 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 You called oh. you, you, a... you called him a racist. I did that to be funny because I had played the game before and I knew that um Mark would blab to Larry. That, like, you know, like, look, dude, just because just cause you're racist. Like, really? That's what you told him? <laughs> you know, uh, you, you try to... Who was voiced by Terry McGovern, by the way, who is a voiceover genius. Just wanted to throw that out. Try to revive him with CPR. Larry died in the meat locker at the dairy. Um, and, um... Lily. Lily backed her up when supplies went missing but you left her on the side of the road and she killed Doug in cold blood um, then Omid you pushed him off the bridge to escape the herd left him in Clem's care Crawford and you were separated after they crossed the right yep. because we don't get to see Mark's fate since he was only in there for one episode and then he got eaten <laughs> yeah so uh Oh my gosh, Dan, thank you so much for the $200 donation. Yay. And Dan says, can you guys sing? <laughs> um, what should be some Grateful Dead? <laughs> That's, I, know, I know, I know my Dan. I totally would. We, we need to sing together. I will. I will take you up on that one of these days when singing in public exists again. Um... Dan, what is there a song being sung right now? Yeah, the credits currently have this really sad sounding song. I guess it's called Take Us Back. I know it. Oh, to Take Us Back song, yeah. Um, I, if I could hear it, I could maybe sing it too. You can uh, unmute. I'm not talking. <laughs> oh, well, you're so smart. <laughs> Take us back. Oh. Take us back. Oh, take us back. Oh, take us back. Take us back. That's what you get. <laughs> I should know that song. That was a uh, two hundred dollar worth of singing. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Yeah, I really enjoyed it. A lot of people in the chat are saying we that they really enjoyed the stream. I saw someone say that this was their favorite stream ever. Uh, and I appreciate you guys, Dave and Melissa, making that possible uh, for, oh for joining my goodness. us. It was such a so... joy and pleasure. Yeah, uh, so happy to be here. Caleb, great meeting you. Uh, great being involved. And of course, anytime I get to spend some time with Melissa Hutchinson. Oh my god, I feel the same way. Yeah. The Hutch! You 
Yeah. I feel the same way. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna find you and Mo soon too. Oh yeah. Come on. I. I am. Um, and yeah, Caleb. Uh, thank you. Um, this is. It's. It's heartbreaking, but also genuinely just so. I'm very just touched and honored to be a part of of uh, you honoring your friendship with Blake. So uh, this is very, very cool to participate. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. He would be extremely jealous, uh, but very happy uh, oh. if you were here today. Mm. Good time for a good cause. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the fact that so far we've raised $5,240, that's amazing. Uh, towards um, the already over fifty thousand dollar, you know, yay! amount that JDRF had. Oh, here's the uh, after credit scene. Fucking alone. Mm -hmm. So beautiful the artwork. Yeah, it's such so a nice. great. I mean, cell shaded worked so well for comic book. Oh. Damn, still not bitten. Oh. Man, that's that's just so beautiful. A little Clem. You don't know who those two people are, Clem? Shoot him! <laughs> Shoot him! <laughs> Debating on whether uh, calling out to them. Or... He's, he's not quite four yet. No, I'm just kidding. She wouldn't even do that in season four. Oh my gosh. So they kind of, they turned around and saw her and doesn't know whether they're friend or foe. And that's how it ends? That's how it cuts out? Boom. Like I that, as Mark Knopfler would say. Um, yeah. Almost like they had spent me to play uh, season two or something. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And if you do, if you would like to have some company for that, I know a particular voice actress. Oh, my gosh. I'd be happy to join <laughs> in. I would. I love that. Just saying. <laughs> I, um, I've been, someone asked way earlier in the stream if I was going to play the TV, and I didn't get a chance to answer the special episode of 400 days um but i will definitely be streaming that and after this i definitely have to stream um you know season two i have to keep moving forward because this game in general has been too too much for me to stop clem's story here <laughs> yeah um yeah <laughs> there's not much to expand on on that yes <laughs> For sure. Someone said, um, what about the, uh, that McHone DLC? I don't know what that is. McHone. What, what's I, I don't know what that is. But, um, I will... Oh, Michonne. Michonne. Yeah. Oh, Michonne, yeah. Yeah. There is a, oh, that's, oh, yeah. Okay, uh, that's between season two and three, if I'm not mistaken. So there's 400 days. Um, oh my God, my brain. I guess she gets so confused. It's 400 days, season two. Yeah, Lime says it's beautiful. Then season three, Michonne. Then season it's four. It's a whole game. You'd think I'd have all of this down at this point. I, for like a minute. It's, it's, I'm blaming Just it on runs Discord. together in your head. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, there's just so You know, and it, it, it's funny because our... our our experience of the game is so different than the player's experience of the game. We do all of this before the game's out, before it's everything is put together. And sometimes you don't know, uh, it, you know, what what's happening, especially me this and, and this first uh, season. There's so many different directions to go in. And you don't know what people are going to choose and when you finally see it uh i mean it was amazing 
but I still haven't seen every permutation <laughs> of how the game can go. That's the first totally. time I've seen uh, Clementine not shoot him. I know, right? Oh. That was crazy. I was like, oh, shit, I haven't seen this yet. Yeah. yeah. Like, not not even in a playthrough, I haven't seen it yet. Ooh, you said the S word. I know, I know. Uh, Clem. <laughs> Sorry. Wash Where? your mouth out with soap. I, I, Where? I think that yeah, she says that um I didn't get her get her to say it in the stream, but in my previous playthrough I got her to say it in front of Katya at the dairy farm. Uh <laughs> I'm actually impressed that that was the first time I've said that tonight. <laughs> Normally that's like my go-to within 5 seconds of talking. You're okay. Mom. Well, I'm I'm yeah. I'm proud cuz potty mouth Dave did not go potty mouth tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been fine. That the game Dropped plenty of words for y'all say. Oh, right. I, I saw so so many comments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. What the? Oh. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, I mean, I have to say, selfishly, that was one of the really cool things is aging with Clem. And, and by, you know, especially in season three, not season four as much because she's looking after AJ. So she keeps it a little more in check. Uh, but in season three, I was like, yes. She's just like flinging out the swear words. <laughs> Let's just do this. That's Trained the dirty... by a sailor. <laughs> but not Lee. Right. He wouldn't tell her to do that. No. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, JDRF asked if, have y'all played the games or have y'all just watched as far as? Well, truth be known, I'm not a video game player, but I have watched playthroughs. Um, but I, and at one, I suck at video games. <laughs> uh, I came along at a time when video games were Pong and what? Asteroid and Galaga. Uh, and Galaga. And then I got then I got busy finger. with life. Uh, and the only reason I know about the industry and the things I I know is because I'm a voice in so many video games. But um, as a player, oh man, uh, I would be embarrassed. It'd yeah. be like eight hours to get through one episode. Yeah. yeah. I'm with you. I, I mean, I've, I've been, it was actually a really cool tradition when I go visit my sister. Her husband's a gamer. Um, and we would play through the episode. So it wasn't like I just, you know, I mean, and I actually, there were particular people I like to watch uh, play through on YouTube and whatever. But uh, more so, I would just watch the playthroughs without commentary or wait to go to my yeah. sister's house and yeah. her husband would control and we just like but it's really cool because even spending so much time in the character because we don't see the animation we don't hear the sound effects we don't hear the music so when playing it it's actually really easy to step out and yeah. uh and totally get lost in the game and forget well, it's like watching a very good tv show yeah only you get yeah. to make some choices. Right. And, exactly. and now let me ask you this. If this happens for you, you're you're watching. And, you know, when we record, we'll, we'll do several takes. Yeah. You ever go, why did you use that take? Yeah, of course. I had a better take on that line. <laughs> I like, really? I sounded better. Really? No, no, I, I really captured it on that line. Why did they use that take? <laughs> that was, like, my least favorite take. Um, yeah, no, I... I, I definitely have those moments as well, for sure. In, mo in all my work, I have those oh, yeah. moments. But uh, in this game, not as often. But yeah. those are the only moments that will pull me out of like being super engaged yeah. in watching it uh, from the fan perspective, as opposed to the actress, 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 whatever that meant. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I totally do that too. I'll be like, oh, that's interesting. They went with that take. Because I remember doing one much better than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I want to say, Dusty Brito asks if Melissa can please say, what are you doing there, Goofball, in your season four, Clem? What are you doing there, Goofball? <laughs> See, I would have done that taking Yeah, yeah. Oh, AJ. <laughs> so cute. I'm so excited to play the other games. I have I've greatly enjoyed the series. Uh, the first two episodes of this, no, the first three episodes of this series, um, I actually played on the JDRF Twitch channel. Um, so those videos are on there. Um, they requested that I 
play it um, and have some of the developers on. So, you know, we had, I don't even know what we had on. I can't remember their names, but they were amazing people yes. because everybody who worked on this was freaking, yes. just say freaking, Gideon, amazing. Jake and Sean yeah. were there. Yes. Um, nice. Awesome. Yeah, Harrison Pink was there. Oh, I um, love Harrison. Yeah, they're all so cool. Like everyone was like just genuinely so nice and so great to talk to. Talented. Yes, very. The star, yeah, the stars aligned for for this game. The stars. Yes. Uh, and then MJ, um, yeah, Andrew Langley was there too. Um, oh nice yeah mj says can you guys say something funny in your voices before i leave please something funny something funny <laughs> damn it i wish i would have come up with that right you still uh, let's see a hanker for a hunk of, a slab a slice a chunk of, a hanker for a hunk of cheese <laughs> now if you're a kid growing up in the 80s you'll know what that is if say, not you're gonna be like what else, the hell just happened <laughs> that just went right over a lot of the viewers heads but th thank this you. thing called saturday morning cartoons <laughs> folks it used to exist oh my god and i'm you know i was born in 93 but i i still got it um only because oh, of sorry. i think god, family guy just a child. but <laughs> <laughs> you could be my son. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Hey, man. Thank you. This is what the universe did. Yeah. Thank you, um, uh, thank Diane, for the ten dollar, and thank you, Slick Rick, for the twenty dollar donation. Yay! Thanks, hey. guys. Um, Can I go have my dinner now? <laughs> yeah, I think Maple's actually the one that's like, "Hi, it's eight p.m. It's time to go." What the hell? Yeah, it's 10 here, so I understand. He's hungry. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Caleb. Thank you um, to Dan and Emily, or J-D-F-R-R-R. I'm, I'm forgetting them. Right, Caleb, thank you so much. Dan, yeah. it's good to, to know you were on this thing, man. Uh, yeah. uh, Melissa, of course, love you, kiddo. Mwah, I love you, and, too. And we'll see you when we see you. We'll see you very soon. And, yeah. Uh, thank you. all I'll be checking out. All right. Hey. Bye. Bye, Caleb. Thank you. It was so nice meeting y'all. Y'all have a great night. All right. Take care. Thank y'all so much to everyone that took part. I mean, that was, you guys got to admit, that was an amazing stream. Literally. Currently, the highlight of my life. I was not going to say that in front of Dave and Melissa. No idea if they are hearing this right now, but it was. <laughs> not really. I got married. <laughs> Just don't tell my wife I said that. But, um, surreal. Surreal is the best word. Because that happened. I was on a stream with Dave and Melissa, and I just talk to them about this game and listen to their voices and ah, i meant to ask them to say stuff for me i didn't want to i didn't want to burden them um but thank y'all so much for watching i'm fangirling I, I have i have i have a right to fangirl i sat there so calmly for three hours and five minutes i think i can fangirl a little bit thank y'all so much for watching be sure to follow if you want to see more of The Walking Dead. Uh, we'll be playing 400 Days next time we play The Walking Dead. Not sure when we'll play it. Uh, I usually play like, I play Fall Guys, Enter the Gungeon, you know, Stardew Valley. I play horror games. I play arcade games. You know, I, I'm i a variety streamer, so I, I play everything under the sun. In fact, we started a series of Sam and Max, The Devil's Playhouse, which is another Telltale Games classic. Um, so we'll play more of that. Thank you so much for following everyone that's followed. I've had like 60, 70 followers recently. It's nuts. Um, we'll be playing this. You should play Dead by Daylight. I've played it a little bit on my own time. Might play it on the stream. Who knows? Definitely be playing 400 Days. Definitely be playing Season 2 uh, and moving forward with that. So be sure to follow if y'all want to check those out. And until next time, shout out all 100 new followers. Oh, I'm good. Thank y'all so much. Will they be on the channel again, Caleb? I have no idea. I hope so. I hope and pray. Melissa mentioned that she'd be fine. Uh, 
streaming some season two with me i would i'd cry if i could just get her on for another episode or just for a couple episodes just like co-stream uh with melissa hutchinson following her character clem that would be amazing we'll see I, uh, you know, my connection with them through JDRF is limited, but, you know, it, the, um, if they ever get to see this, or if anyone tells them this, uh, you know, Dave and Melissa, if y'all ever want to be on another stream with me, um, please let me know. I will not ask you personally, but I will, I will happily have you on, uh, if you'll have me. So, yeah, right, JDRF says we'll see you. Yeah, and who knows? Maybe by next year, in the next charity stream, we can have them on a little bit more. Uh, maybe we'll be, you know, as far as, like, pre-season four. Who knows? I, I don't know where we'll be by then. Uh, 2020 literally has been a crazy year. But thank y'all for watching. Be sure to follow to stay calibrated or whatever nonsense streamers are supposed to say. Thank y'all so much for all the donations. Reaching $5,270. I will be getting a tattoo of Batman either on my left arm or right arm, haven't decided. And I will be posting pictures of that to my Twitter account, which is literally Calibrated Gamer, exact same name. So you can follow me on there if you want. Um, thank you so much, JDRF. Um, i uh, not going to cry right now because I've gone this long and I haven't cried. But um, no tattoo stream. I if I If I think in my moment of panic dealing with needles to turn on my phone and use my data to stream then you may see a VOD of I may have someone record it who knows probably not but you know definitely we'll show pictures yeah this has been surreal thank you guys for making it possible thank you for all the donations during the word um thank you for all the love and patience work um the story of Blake and um I'm actually getting like emotional. It's uh I'm crying. Dan already donated the two hundred dollars, so I'm safe to cry if I need to. But will this be on YouTube or saved somewhere? That th this will be saved to Twitch. So just about all my streams we save via highlights. So you can find this on Twitch later. In fact, Twitch will allow you to basically uh clip it, clip scenes. Or you can, you know, record over it or download videos if you need to, whatever. Um, and we'll clip some of our favorite moments from the stream if I can think about going back through it. Um, no YouTube, only Twitch. I have a YouTube channel, but it's kind of dead, so probably not on YouTube. Probably. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. I, that was so, so surreal. I'm sorry. I like to fangirl to y'all guys because they're not here right now. <laughs> but, I mean, that was crazy i i know i i remained fairly calm but uh in you know you fake it till you make it right um but that was literally i've never in my life been able to talk to someone like with such a high standing in my mind of like voice acting thank y'all for watching y'all have a wonderful night yeah getting the shout outs and the questions answered wasn't that so cool guys we did it we did it. That was so awesome. Thank you, JDRF, for making it possible. Thank you guys for raising the $5,000. It's time to sing our way out. Uh, hope to see y'all in future Um, In future streams, let me know if y'all want to see more of The Walking Dead. And I'll put a priority on it. I'm fine with that. Uh, I It hasn't been the priority. I've been saving it for the charity streams that we've been doing. But now that the charity streams are over, technically, although the donations will still be available to Although the, so now that the charity seems over, we can just kind of play whatever. So let me know. More Walking Dead, more Walking Dead. Y'all have a good night. Time to sing us out. I'll see you guys in the next stream. Henry Stickman first. <laughs> I also have a Discord. I think link's down in the description below or one of my mods can share it. Um, but yeah. And unfortunately, this stream is over, but we'll see you very soon. Hey, this was really fun. We hope you liked it too. We really do. Seems like we're just begun. When suddenly we're through. Unfortunately. Goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. For now, it's time to go. I really do hate to say it. But hey, I say. 
Well, that's okay. That is. Cause we'll see you very soon, I know. Yeah, super soon. Very soon, I know. Ooh, get it. Goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye. Goodbye. And tomorrow's another day. Caleb, robot, and the Brobits crew. And he'll be ready for you to come and stay. To watch a let's play another day. Bye, guys. <laughs>